Right. Um, ladies and gentlemen, a warm welcome to everyone of UNA, Fambule. We bring massive British UNA for the now media empire. Today, now the 8th of um, May, 2022, and as usual, a very massive interview with a very, very special guest. Just before we go to the guest, I just want a um, quick background, which is since we talk about education and education, mostly about education today and the position where we're in, if fine for let we get a background. So this background basically boiled down to Sierra Leone at one point being the anthem of education, specifically in the region. But the wider world community be respected with because there was a reason why education will be enjoyed at the time, was much more celebrated. So during the 19th century, then be we as a people or nation, we get our Western style education based on, on, um, on education. So one of we claim them in terms of um, education background, we the college, um, we then call for a big college, this most famous college at the time be affiliated with Durham University back again at the United Kingdom, Musa Sidong, was founded as far back as 1827. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I just want to let you imagine the emphasis as far back as 1827, there's a reason. So we've long been in this business. So that have been the first tertiary educational institute in the region. And this is quite a big region, by the way. And on top of that, we get the first boys' school, we then call grammar school, and the first girls' school, we turn out for be and the Watch Memorial School. These were all founded by the 1845s and 1849s, respectively. The country, as we know, um, was, respectfully, was respectfully respected by educators in the world, again, because of the British-style education. But the education system wouldn't develop during this period, and they talk about between the 20th and the 19th um, century, and I already don't say um, was um, styled after um, the, um, 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 the UK education system. There was a little bit of a discrimination, though, but we don't need to go into that because what the reason why I say a little bit of discrimination, the design of the education system then has some um, connotation of elitism. So not to everybody be entitled to RAM, but if you fit a certain nature or class, then so be it, then you will definitely end up um, um, on, on um. But it being specifically focused on people and we being a special gift academically, you know, yeah, for say. So then people and we go go into tertiary education before then go end up for take position to serve and structure. It's important because that have been the design then, but if even now design say guess it on that the correlation between education and people start and how then the health policies will eventually go to be because then waiting will they do. Without ladies and gentlemen, I want to introduce on for the first time on the platform the man who has made his name for himself, the country, and um in a very, very good way, I must say, because a lot of people are impressed, and he's none other but Dr. John Idris Lahai. Dr. Lahai, welcome to the Tianelia Empire for the very first time, sir. Welcome to me. I think saying a good thing and the owner even says if welcome. I feel so much um in tune already. And to we fumble them where they watch me, listen to me. I say on a thank you and uh, I'm glad you for dinner. Yeah? Okay. Thank you so much, Dr. Um, um Dr. Lahai. Mm -hmm. Let me get in into this. The first thing I want to begin with, Doctor, um, this word doctor is almost, especially when it comes to becoming synonymous with fake. And you as a doctor with no disrespect, before, because before the can studio, of course, I read lengthily on your background and resume and know that you are highly respected, decorated, and everything is out there for people and we go on for C. But for those, even though you've been in the limelight for like um, mm -hmm. a number of months now, because of this specific reason, often people they will not go understand who is John Lahai, Dr. John Lahai. Where did they come up from? The reason why they be in this, probably you go want to do a formal introduction of yourself. So, especially or exactly who you are, sir. Um, Fambulem, my name 
John Idris Lahai. Um, people name they don't the pedal talk say me name John Idris Kamara. No, me na John Idris Lahai. And me mama we born me. Na them, you know, I don't call themselves. Na them yila yom kela them. But in yom papa been can settle not put loco. You know, they know the Potloko people, let me get a tradition whereby if a stranger can live among them, then they adopt you as the yun. Say, for example, S.I. Kuruma was S.I. Tarawali when I been former vice president to Shaka Stevens. But because it came now Potloko, the people of Potloko, they embrace him, then decide for giving the Kuruma son him. So me and Mama, in yun people, them, when they come out Cambia, then can settle on Potloko, then give them the Kunku Kamara. But me, na John Idris Lahai. So that in a one. The second thing is that I get a um, humble beginning. Um, I start off, you know, with a very, very rough background in terms of um, a stolen childhood. I lost that childhood day during the war, but I able, um, you know, recoup and able try for use education as um, a tool. I come to St. Edward's Secondary School. I, in fact, I'll be there from four where I attempt the O levels, um, I pass. Then later on, I continue um, with um, me A level studies na na St. Edwards. But um, which I do, I decide say okay, then get lower six, then get upper six. Which I go do, I decide say okay, make a uh, because now two years is supposed to do then they then so I decide for going a cardinal educational enterprise with the fourth street. I go um, say okay. During my lower six, make a attempt the GCE A level. I attempted it and I pass. Where I pass, but my mama been get a policy whereby me and big sister will call me be an army, not be able to do well in you know in your exams. So my mama tell me, say, okay, make a wait. So I had to wait for a couple of years whilst my sister retake the exams, he able to pass, he go military my guy, then later on he go FBC before my mama allow me for go college in IFBC. But the time was, I don't have wait, I be the land the Quran. Then uh, when I go college now, I do my first degree in political science. Then um, I enroll into the Master of Philosophy in political science. I have colleagues when, uh, who all been there in a class, like Dr. Mohamed Sisse, we currently the lecture, na, we currently is an assistant professor at York University, and we head of department by then, na, Dr. Na, professor Usman Bla, you know, and Ingo will attest to that. I have so many colleagues. Then after me and Phil, you know, after coursework and everything, all what was, all the way to be left in a dissertation, then I get a scholarship for go study at the United Nations, the Graduate University for Peace, you know, we in the Nicole UPs, I do um, masters in international law and the settlement of disputes. And then thereafter, I came, I come back home in a salon. I decided for lecture on IFBC. In fact, I took over from a very resourceful lawyer, we they call Mel Melron, Nicole Wilson. Let me take over modules, them, a lecture, lecture. Then, um, although from a college still owe me, don't able to pay me that money today. today then I decided to say, okay, make I go Australia. I go Australia, University of New England, I go do my doctorate, and thereafter I do my postdoctoral fellowship and uh, engage in so, so many other and so many other things and roll into you know into other things like um trying to complete um a Jewish doctor in law and I still did the, the, the study um in, uh, Melbourne University Law School in Australia and um thereafter I don't write plenty books. So if the people then they tell me, say, me not fake, I cannot believe say somebody will fake, go be author of so many <laughs> odd women books. We not to yeah. not to small publishers them, the publishers them, for instance, we publish books of Albert, yeah, Rutledge, good. Albert Einstein yeah. books, we are published by Rutledge. I get books there yeah. with Palgrave Macmillan. I get books them. I don't I do the review right now. I get review, you know, I get for review books them. For Namigo recommend whether or not them for publish or them for reject them. I don't lecture na universities in Australia, na the US, na the UK, na Sweden, Denmark, you know, and um Japan. I get connections and fellowship them where I always, you know, at least don't visit in the sense. But um I don't do me own best, but I come for realize say 
Even for instance, when I did do my doctorate, we are complete time in 2012. It was so depressing for me that immediately we are done, I was sick for almost two years because um, doctor, get a PhD is not easy. You know, forget a PhD, very, very traumatic. Some people then like, even go to the point of like, so monkey, why even wrong, Chris? Then I come now, I come back now with country, I see people, then they are these fake degree meals. Somebody just sit down at Kukri Bafa, and no one day old newspaper for it. Then they call himself doctor, and they get them big, big titles. Then they, they, they see with all them big titles, they ask the way we get. We see, say, we know they able to perform things, and just they go bad. So I decide, say, okay, make her put me research skills into good use, not for just research and write books and make money, do consultancies, but make her try for help for save me country. Save me people them. So you where they talk bad about me, saying say they say I get a fake PhD. This fight is not about me, it's about your own future. You young picking them future. So una forget about me. Una ask on herself, the one they wanna they fed for, then they give una the money where then they eat. The one they wanna they fed for, how una connect, how they don't better on a life for una. If they're not able better on our lives, I don't think say even right for make on a country for attack somebody with because right now my life day in danger because uh, no people there we don't already don't issue threats some don't even they look at the laws of Sierra Leone as to how whether or not they for charge me for cyber crime and all that in the day but by the end of the day if I die self for, for this cause it is okay let we get the quality of education where we want for help we and as we brother prince don't talk him, we get a name, anthems of British West Africa. We get something, the Western style of education, the whole of Africa. Now we then, now we first get Western style educational institution. So why we for, we for mortgage that for the interest of few people there when as me go say the no matter in a society. Now that no more from them. Okay. Dr. Lai, very um thank you so, so much way we can try to do on this platform because you've got you definitely get but um we you the feature on a size we only interested in, in sounds then obviously the Sierra Leonean people to whom you want to kiss message to not to get the 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 gist really want for say but I think say that introduction they settle but hooters because even then one day we could go further for deny I mean it's on it's not on you any longer because you've made it clear um, there are a couple of things where I pick up the and family for notice. In an era where misinformation, disinformation, and propaganda is at the height of everything else, where people and we go through the rubrics of education, like Dr. Lahai, and we important publisher them, now the, the globe, are publishing his papers, his books. And then you still want to point a finger at him and, you know, yeah, and attach the F word to him in this, in this word, fake. Then it's definitely on you. Another thing why I pick is um, you, um, your degree of knowledge within um, conflict resolution. Because like I've been mean, look at your background, just the kind of thing we see and the right to protect something I'm interested in. So I quite look into him deeply. But that's for another day, Dr. Lahai. Um, will you please state for Fambulem what in this crusade again is all about? We know, say, now for bring back, you know, yes, yeah, some sanity into the education system. But in so doing, you've offended many. And the many offended are not, you know, yeah, like lightweight, heavyweight. These are very powerful people. Hence, why would there be something like um, your life being threatened? A question I get for ask you later for let we interact deeply because we suspect that's not the case. But let me talk about these fake universities and fake degrees. What are the motivation behind this? What do you the aim to achieve? Well, from Buldem, today, na Mother's Day. They one day where they follow me on Facebook, see that I only post my wife and my two daughters them. When I not see I post my mama in picture. My mama suffer for me. But two years after where I graduate, May, this very month, the 30th, in 2014, 
na imi mama die. Then be rush and go na hospital, one hospital. Uh, they hold the name for now because I get for likely take legal action. Where my mama been get um, high blood pressure, then care and go na this hospital. Instead of then do a proper diagnosis of, you know, for me on, on my mama, then do the wrong diagnosis, then give the wrong injection. That injection, they make me mama suffer brain hemorrhage. Within a brain hemorrhage, the brain is swell. And there was no way letting go save me mama in life. Me mama in brain it explode. Like where you the boss balloon, me mama die. Today's Mother's Day, me mama not there alive today. Me investigations reveal that, yes, that particular hospital, they be employed quack doctors. That hospital, they be employed quack nurses. But make we pull me come out now the equation and put other comrade them and other people them. How much of how many of Una don't suffer from the hands of people them where their education is very fake? How many of Una don't lost Una Mama, Una Papa, Una Pekin, Una brother, sister, and um, eh, most of Una family members them? How many of Una they starve every day? How many of Una gains for even live in Sierra Leone? Una no mind for do anything for get out. Not because of the foundations of where education is broken. So the first motivation, not that uh, I promised myself, say, I go do everything in my own power for make sure that we expose the bad things. And because what happened to me, mama, I know I make it happen to you, your mama. I know I lay up into you, young brother. I know I lay up into you, papa. I know I make you up into any of your family members. Then the second motive motivation stem from the fact that Sierra Leone, we get a culture wherein we politicians them. I am a member of the SLPP, and I don't get no other party in the SLPP, right? But we don't see it throughout the history. The only person we not do that, that was President Kaba, you know, in of, of blessed memory and in recent times. You know, we you know you know point finger outside the country for begin for the try for blame things the way they happen. Then we get a government, the SLPP, don't they now have power? Four years next year, now elections from Bulden. But Ukraine, for instance, then Palava with Russia, we happened just yesterday. Now in government, the champion now as the main cause for the poor performance of government. But make we be sincere to we people and make we respect we people them i am a member of the slpp if we not be if we not try for be sincere and respect we people them at least now get some sense of decency within we you can't blame ukraine for the economic woes of sierra leone for the poor performance of we dollar for the poor performance of the public sector for the poor Absolutely. performance of everything the ukraine who they try for blame Ukraine get light, even if even right now they depend war, Russia they bomb them, but then get light. Then train systems still they work on time. The hospitals then they work. Russia they bomb. Would they see Ukraine fire force? They go out fire. They're still effective during civil war. But Tomabo, what's up with the plant trace? We don't begin plant the rest day far back, not to now, right? Benny Mix. When where they say now in the tribe for safe picking their life for malnutrition and this and that was discovered by a Sierra Leonean. We get a fertile soil where before say it enrich in almost every type of nutrient we go make the pl planting of, 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 of vegetations where we need for food security a day. We get abundance of water, we get wind, but we decide for choose deforestation, we decide for choose blackout we decide for choose all the negativities Ebo, if then tr they happen what do you think so will they do if someone like brother prince then are uk right now you they get a connection between the quality of education of the people them where they run the system and the performance waiting and they call productivity right education matter so my second motivation, now the fact that we get for stop for do the blame game and turn back and watch under we foot. If you get a mal-educated someone, 
way they in charge for you your own destiny, there would factually be nothing, nothing or they come all good out of them. Right? Look at Ghana. Education don't work for them. Now, if you go to Ghana, you know, go even know say you are in you are in Ghana, especially in the major cities like Accra. Right? Singapore, now education work for them. They don't get diamonds. They don't get gold and silver to the amount where we get now after Sierra Leone. But look at how education don't work for them. What make we get for? Let, let make we try for be a serious nation. Let we stop for blame. Let we get it right. Because where with man they advertise job, then say the minimum requirement of this person or with this, or for this position also now a bachelor's degree. They expect you that your performance will be commensurate with the type of education where you don't get to bachelor's level, right? If they advertise a position and say masters, they expect that performance the way you go get to be commensurate to waiting. You you actually you know don't 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 learn at master's level. So and when you connect performance of the public sector, of we civil service, of people that we matter in our society to to productivity and how that productivity they they impact every facet of the society you get for tired with education when you tire with education you're not going for just tired with any type of education say for example the education we get for do with um the history of baibure and the whole tax war no then they not matter in society as society they grow not so you they try for be innovative and creative but how you go be innovative where you get a simple thing you got somebody with big fool who not, excuse me for use that word they they in charge of of um of of of, of planning you got somebody in a criminal because like not only criminals then they forge degrees not only criminals them they they go by fake degree now then they in charge of we police force now then they in charge of we parliament now then they in charge of um civil service they are cabinet ministers they are police officers they are military men they are you know then they work now with electricity companies then they now ministry of health inside with ministry of education inside ministry of agriculture inside ministry of internal affairs inside ministry of foreign affairs eh bufambul them so then they na me second na me other motivation then they that we get for clean the system so that productivity education we will work for salon then the final motivation is stem from the simple fact that Sierra Leone don't they cry because remember people when they graduate years somebody some they send message to me they give me a screenshot of the degree papers then some don't graduate five six seven years no job. Take NATCOM, for instance. A man with a forged degree, not even get a bachelor's. He go he put 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 fake, fake, fake all the papers there. He get two director positions: director of administration and director of human resource management. Human resource management, nine day for recruitment and retention of staff. Now in day for the for the staff then welfare. If possible, get fake paper. Nine day in charge for recruits. No wonder the man where he come all competent people and that come. He make sure say sack them all, right? So then when I go to ask on ourselves now, why make things then they go bad? Now that come we post him buy into pop. As you talk no more one minute, it done done. And then people here don't hold it to ransom. Then put fear, make them so difficult. For make we even get the right for which I will say question them. But this is me. Me believe in one thing that education for humble you. If you're not humbled by education, that means education don't fail you. So anybody we see is say a lambuk, a arrogant, a no, a no, a no they accommodate people, them, a no they crack joke, a no, a no, a no loose body, alter they make strict, they make bad face. When I check them out. That person they will likely be a fake because me believes the education for humble you, you for understand, able to think beyond the outside your comfort zone, and able to empathize with people. Them before you take any decision, you they ask yourself first from different angles. Okay, what in this tier go mean for me? What in this tier go mean for me? People and the poor one them. What it go mean for the woman them? What it go mean for 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 general for generally everybody? What it go mean for that one way na Chris man? What it go mean for that one way well? What it go mean for citizens of Sierra Leone? And what it go mean for foreigners? Because before you decide now, say okay, 
based on all the, the, the criteria here, so we had all the, 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 the indicators here, so we had all include in um, you know in the evaluation of, of, of me moves, not like take the best one, we go there in the interest of the country. But somebody will fake, not go ever take what in the best interest of young people, them with the interest we go take, now that one where they for can accumulate wealth, for can make sure say it gets more power, it get more money, because it fake, you know what let person challenge them. Because me, where I believe say I can able to perform in some in, in some areas, not in all areas. Because me, if somebody give me a job and they look the job criteria, I tell you, say point blank, say no. I know they apply for this. No, I know one disposition, and it has happened within this government where I rejected offers. You know, so so we don't see that, right? Me no want for make people and look at me. When I look at all the factors you are don't give and ask on herself, who na they go lunge? Who na the fly go salon? Who na we na the diaspora? Who na can sit on the window seat them inside the plane? Who na they look outside? The same pan body them who na see. Five years, ten years ago, who oh, na the kind side? Na the same pan body them. Na then they that ugly, ugly view. But fly today to Accra. There you look out. There you see the near the the, the, the Ag Agu column. It is out of this. It is out of the Af African continent type of you know infrastructural development. But una no the able learn as say if it, it is even you you for cry because I do cry. I they cry sometimes. Right now, I cry one cry so back for me people and for me country. Make we pull the square. Okay. The, the bad people alone, we build we country. It's not about me, it's about you. Absolutely. It's not about me, it's been family Munadi directly from the mouth um, um, of Dr. John Idisla Hai, the man will lift the lead on this fake degree and fake degrees. Um, I don't know, maybe a few people are supposed for call. I don't know whether this call is related, so now bear with with me one minute please um bear with me one minute please so again like i say um hello caller like i say we they talk to dr john idris lahai um the last statement we make just not very profound it's not about me it's about you okay when i see the mug way they show i hope we know that okay so it's um expired yesterday is that what it says yes and, um, the deadline the deadline for complaints the expired deadline yesterday. for complaints expired yesterday. Now is the time for action. Now is the time for action. Very profound thoughts here being expressed by John Idris Lahai. And um, Fambulem, we need for share this you wide and far. Don't be selfish. This is about country. Waiting, Dr. John Lahai, they say here, by the stretch or imagination of um, we mindset, the English language, the people we talk, now about country, and to me, that's the impression that I get. But definitely, it won't go down with some well. And the man from the very beginning that in life has been threatened. But again, we'll come to that. Dr. John Lahai, um, yes. you seem for being a place well-connected, especially so with the current government. You've said it, you've not minced your words, you've said it in previous interviews, that you are going to call the, the city commissioner, like, brother, that's quite strong. Yeah. And um, yes, you day on the crusade against the regime, and then they take them lightly. The question I want to ask Dr. Lahai before we go the real basic of what we will talk about today. When did this thing occur to you in terms of knowing uh, that fake degrees, fake universities did exist? The timeline, now, if you understand, when did it occur to you and when did you go public with this? Because there are a lot of thoughts out there. We say you are, you feel, you feel spiteful because of certain treatment rendered to you by the kind of people that are leading the country, whom uh, you have affiliation with. So because of that, that's why you are coming out. I'm not giving any credence to that story, but on the basis of professionalism, I just they ask the timeline. When did you you know about universities, but it seems like they've been in existence for a while, and you decide for go public, and know why again because you've already did the case as to why. But when did you know about it, and when you decide for come public? Waiting at the connection there. Well, I'll be done. They suspect for a while, but I would say it was two years ago. 
we we the urge for make uh, enter into full blown investigations. Spend me your money, thousands of dollars for make sure say I own not I own not this thing. Um, it was the year 2020. I begin my investigation, then I get proof, evidence, tangible one. I was and I'm still a member of the Renaissance movement of Sierra Leone, but I decide for excuse myself from the the group, we WhatsApp group because. The anti-corruption commissioner will remain me own brother, although I classify as one of the worst anti-corruption commissioners in the history of Sierra Leone. And I don't tell President Sig only succeed if he if he sack him. And I'm not interested in imposition. I'm not even qualified for get the position of anti-corruption commissioner. I give me, I begin give me evidence. I Believe say the time we the Sovula, we na Ambru Sovula, we na we Inspector General of Police, you know, being come up, the police then pull a press release using the letter head. Because in England, for instance, or in Australia or in America, we police use the, the letter head for write something, it becomes a government policy. Now, only government official statement, meaning it has been endorsed by the government. Now, only then they use letterhead for. But this was Ambrosovula, a go na Dominion University, he go, he go by fake degree. Then automatically, because he has been fighting for that position for a very long time, even before President you know, uh, Bio became president. He always be done the, I mark the position of Inspector General of Police. Then he um, go by the degree, it come out publicly and police use the whole official letterhead, meaning that government endorse the fake degree of this Inspector General of Police. I protest. I say, no, this is wrong. I say, on two fronts, you know, they use letterhead for the man in personal achievement. You're not going to do anything with police matter or whatever. You don't do it. I said, I'm a criminal. And say, and also, the Dominion University, who said this man go get in degree, it's not accredited by the Tertiary Education Commission, we're not the TEC, and it's not recognized anywhere. You know, then I enter into a full blown investigation and I bring me evidence to Kelfala, Agiam, I say, Paddy man, you know me, own brother, look this evidence, investigate them people here. Because them people here, they involved into a fraud. Now, a group of pastors, them, and the vice chancellor, one of the big people at that university, they was, was my former student at FBC. And one of them also happened for be me and cousin. You know, I exposed them. And I tell, the, I tell them, so during the time where the protests, I think somebody come out from Renaissance Movement to say, Troublesome Dr. Lai don't begin raise issue with this because Dominion University how we start it started off as um and now just a group of of what of quack uncalled by God pastors then because not to God called them you know come together then begin give them self certificate say okay come look and make one day one day conference where would they teach other pastors then for waka just like how Jesus be waka you know from Galilee to Bethlehem. Then they give certificates, you know, on Jesus walking that, that journey. Come look and give you certificates how Jesus be the sleep inside boat. You know, then they then then train themselves out for sleep inside boats, then they give themselves certificates. Then then begin say, okay, now this certificate too small. Lord begin give diploma. Then begin issue themselves diploma. They say, okay, now Lord begin give degrees. Then begin issue degrees. Then they say this na criminal enterprise with it, if we continue like this, government go arrest we. So wait till they do. Make we go meet the boss man when I end in charge of the police. Make we give him a honorary PhD. So then call Suvula, then they, they invite him, and he knew or ought to have known because he's a policeman with over 20 years of experience. So that idea for talk say he was he was a he's a victim. Na na na, na trash talk. Because with 20 years of experience, now you're in charge of the criminal investigations department. If you get power for arrest, Chris, man, blacker for which he did talk. You know, go tell me, say, you know, get that sense there for really understand, say, 
do it in and they try to put you inside a nonsense. But this man knew he wanted that that title of a doctor so he could consolidate himself because he's a quack man, he's incompetent, and he's not able to pull the police force. You know, in fact, he don't sink the police force because prior inspector generals of police, then were some of them was, but um, in nine are the worst, you know. So what he do as in, in sense of corruption and everything, if he'll say that title of doctor will protect him. So after our protest, it dropped, it, it dropped. Then pull press release back now, police say, then the man say, it's the Inspector General and Bruce Ovula now wants the title again, you know, the title of um, of um, of doctor where um, Dominion University. Yeah. So if I can just so, come, yeah. if I can just come in, if I can just, just come in there, Dr. Lahai, and I'm sorry about yes. this because I know you did in full flow and you did ahead of the Internet, but this is what I want to talk about. But there are other things before you know, to that this particular thing and the denial. Because I listened to that interview there by head of the police media unit, a man we don't appear on this platform once or twice, which now by my um, um, camera. Um, we he say the man he reject the thing, he turned the thing back over, and the boss asked a brilliant question and a follow up. If I were him, I would do a further follow up. But of course, that was the reporter. But he actually exposed something. We buy my camera. They say, well, man turn her over, and the man ask, was it formal or informal? But what did they mean they try for do? Seems like a cover up, and that's what you're saying. But I want to go back to the issue of fake universities. And I promise you, they come back and do us and all them people there that you've named who has been working within the government, and nothing is being done by your friend and brother, Mr. Ben Kaifala, because it seems. Things like the difference here between fake degree and corruption, and in the head of corruption, and nothing is being done. Does it come as a surprise? And it shouldn't come as a surprise to you, even though you're a member of a nice sense, but I'm sure you're a breakaway now, and you are the ostracized child of um, an in inverted commas of um, um, the nice um, more of ethics, I suppose. Um, Dr. Dr. The question was, um, how long this don't they go on? Of course, you did that, and why you only address her now? And a very good answer as to investigations will be carried out in the background. And once you get you, you sources them correct and it's necessary for let you do what you do, so you now um, um, come out. But the people the more you they accuse, not the one that we get the fake degrees, but the one that they award the fake degrees, then they say they are legit. Will you kindly address that? I'll touch on that basically because for let you be like it, people like the TEC, the Tashi Commission, therefore give you accreditation and they don't have any of this. But there's a complication here in which then people are a little bit confused, if you will like. The day where we are online, you can move from Yago, Costa Rica, and what have you. And I believe that you spend thousands of dollars on your own for this investigation background for we to this your effort where you don't put expose this SCM scam. Well, well now one thing if I'm them for realize is that um the degree mill na Sierra Leone is worth millions and millions of dollars. It worth millions and millions of dollars and um for people left for say now nah, because of now nah, 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 now nah, I decide for come up no I not just come up no more. When I'm not supposed for know me if the anti-corruption commissioner for they don't treat with seriousness my, my allegation. In fact, way I don't get me evidence when I presented it to him, I told him categorically clear, say, but the man not put me before. You you deal with this. There and then the ACC act say the man for protect me, not protect me. Now he decide for attack me, you know, for, for do this. So if they not make a canal to the issue now about um the accreditation of them people here, where then they argue otherwise. I'd already don't tell Fambul them how Dominion University come about, where then they give degrees they're under the tick. Now now we focus on another university where then they call the Africa Graduate University. The Africa Graduate University, me I can give Fambul them just a short history. It, it was originally the idea of one man in uh, Uganda, where then they call Henry Dresslack Igesa. It then I want tongue where they call Busia inside Eastern Uganda. He was um, it's how they call ourselves like we'll get them trade center, then a free tongue, you know, we get um side there, we side somebody they go learn skills, you know. So he was a lecturer there, but then second for, for financial misappropriation. 
you know, then he decides to say, okay, in Google for me in college. He decides for call some Nigerians, a Gambian, and some people then from Somalia. Then fly go to Mogadishu, then go hatch this plan here for form this university, then they call the Africa Graduate University. But they not get accreditation na, na, na Uganda or Kampala or anywhere else. Then the, the university begin to operate. Then we get two centers them outside the, the, the this fake degree thing be they operate. The printing of all the degrees and every certificate be they happen against the street corners of Mogadishu na Somalia. Me investigation lead me go day. Then in be get in your side na 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 na, na, na Bosia na in your hometown. So later on now, the people in Mogadishu Somalia, you remember those days two thousand and ten. Things still that in the Somalia be they under be they under the uh, Islamic court, the Al Shabab then and then be they power, you know. So so the thing became became a trouble. Then there was a split between Henry Gesa and any other scammers them. Then decide for split. Then Henry Gesa decides say okay, go form another university for go now where we turn Somalia for go rival with the in former conman associate they are. That program day it not work because you go now Salam University try for go for go get a memorandum of understanding. I get all the document, the everything of the of the agreement to them be get. That thing they no work. Then it decides say okay, what do you go do now? On Union, you go spread Kana West Africa. It decide for go now the internet, Facebook and LinkedIn and try for fend people them. Then it can't it can't fend this man with they call uh, Muhammad Yamba Bangura when a within a Sierra Leone. When I be remember in those days, during the days of Pakaba, there was this St. Clement's University where they be they say it be legitimate, we give PhD to Henry to 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 to, to, to Tambayo, he give, P, he give PhD to uh, Christiana Top and others. Now Mohammed Yamba Bangura and I formed that I formed that fake university day. And during Pakaba in term, this uh, Dr. Professor Alpha Uri, now we don't know Professor Associate Professor Alpha Uri in with um in um in deputy by then, then decide for go go on the offensive, then close St. Clement's University. But Mohammed Yamba Bangura not being stopped, he be still involved in scam. He be still involved in so much scam, for instance, um in with one man they call Alim, you know, Alim Make Conte. China been give some scholarship then to people then say them for can give them to give people and free in and Mohammed Yamba Bangura then take them scholarship here then begin sell sell them to people of Sierra Leone. So Alim in go England he go form in own professional global university or professional uh, global training institute PGTI or PGU. Then Mohammed Yamba Bangura was waiting for this opportunity. So where Henry dressed like Igesa. Meet up um, and then decide say okay then for establish the Africa Graduate University in Sierra Leone. Mohamed Yamba Bangura, if they don't go England by then, through the help of this Alim Make Conte, he go even go get a woman. They where the woman even try for sponsor I begin calling himself a doctor there and there. While he then in England, he involved in, in fraud, they sell fake papers them to them Filipino them to them people away just they try for get paper for fair work. He was arrested, prosecuted, and deported. So when he came back to Salon, he was disgruntled, looking for an opportunity. So when Henry Igesa can meet him, they agree on this. Then Henry Igesa appoints in the Mohamed Yabba Bangura as the West African director for recruitment. And he gave him the title of a full professor. Then he fights in way through. At that time, it was the year 2013. People them, like um, Minkailu, doing an escroma in government, the man came, he deceived them. He said, in PhD, PhD was legitimate. Then Minkailu then lead this man, he going to state house to pres former president, that he was president, I was just put a president uh, by Koroma. Then go try for then try for tell say this money I don't come, he don't carry this idea of um, a university that he won't get um then you know uh ba I mean Kailu Bowen be minister of education, it be worse in so many ways, but we for be we for be very grateful to Ram. 
So he decides to say on a second thought, instruct TEC, make them slow down the accreditation, accreditation process whilst then they try for review for let them see whether or not the background or where this mania can be, whether or not it was legitimate. So that's happened and the man fighting where they appoint him as principal and um, head of the civil service training college. So where they train in fake people there now from the Africa Graduate University, it just they put them inside the civil service. So now so then take now so then take you know uh full up full up inside with civil service. Then um going on, going on, the man begin organize classes them inside the civil service training college without accreditation from TC because Minkai Luba said no, I'm not gonna ever give you accreditation because you not get a legitimacy or whatsoever, you know, any even even now the Uganda also on a say una they wanna say una 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 registered but you're not registered or accredited by the Ugandan government. The man lies in campus then abusia but in campus not then abusia it then say you os na so you say in campus then a Kampala the capital but in campus then a you os two room and pala house Nabusia, Eastern, you got you get them big, big banner them. Where are they ready? They hire them truck, then they put them banner, then they put them, I get the photos and everything and video recording of everything. If they get them going at them big, big posh building, they make them lift them up, it can pay people them. They said, yeah, we just want to make photo shoots no more. They lift her up, it fix her, and then they snap. He say our building, the building of the Africa Graduate University. So it begin full more people left, begin full more people left. Then Mohamed and Babangura now decide say, okay, this is an opportunity. This and redress like against I not get mine for Kana Salon. In go do in So he begin run in your scheme. In with um the coordinator when a Pius Kago now the civil service training college. Then begin get the government for fund civil servants them for make them they go get them degree. Then the meal and see the woman will give me lunch whilst at the FBC. Now so. Georgiana Kamara gets a master's from Africa Graduate University when I fake and I know I'd me auntie, right? Me mama in, in, in media name, na Fatu Konko Kamara, right? This woman and a Georgiana Kamara, na me or auntie, na in force I expose. This woman give me lunch whilst at the FBC. But this fight is bigger than me auntie, it's about me country, yeah. right? So, so, yeah. so you don't see how, how Africa Graduate University they, they, they operate. Then, yeah. SAPP can have power. Then continue. And I've been telling Fambul then say, um, Inspector General of Police, then pull what say the man say, and now wants the um, the PhD with Dominion University Giam. But five months after, when he dropped that that. That Africa, that way, 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 drop that Dominion University, um, PhD. Five months. Now, police pull out a press release back, say, finally, the Inspector General of Police don't get, don't get PhD back. Udagi and this PhD this time around, now Africa Graduate University. Oh dear. So oh, okay. Now, um, um, okay. Uh, 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 I said, no, I said, this is wrong. Let me, yeah, me do, my brother, just yeah, one minute. Yeah, Dr. 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 Lahai, if you can just, if you can just hold your line of right there because this is exactly for the doc the two uh, uh, entity them dominion and agu i mean trying to baffle or so it appear the general public and at that the police chief appear for the middle so one being a degree we later on he say he give back he say you know interested in them because they then discover say and he made this is not the head of the police of an entire country. He say you not understand whether the degree has been fake or not. But at some point, when start, after people like you come out, he say you not been taken um, or he give the degree back. But then he the degree from an equally corrupt uh, entity, the AGU. What is at play here? Paint the picture for we again. Okay. I don't go understand because this is a huge. Make a painter, make a painter of Fauna in simple terms. Please. Mohamed Yababagura get a fallout with the APC government because the late Minkai Luba refused for getting accreditation. But there was also another Minkai Lu minister within the APC where Imbi once forget an ally from Mohamed Yababagura that he was going to be a strong ally for in political ambitions. So there was a fallout between the AGU and um, 
and um, the government of Ernest by Kuruma. Where the SLPP can have power, people they always get that idea, say SLPP na Bukman party. So um, this was indeed an opportunity for make for make um Mohamed Yamba Bangura and the other cohort of um scammers them make them go get you know or put the country in um uh, under ransom. Five months after we reject Dominion, so Vula police use police headquarters, police headquarters, police statement using police letterhead. The man pronounced himself, say so don't get a, I don't get another PhD. And I protested again and I provided the list of their all, including my auntie name. And I said, no, this is fake. They're not get accreditation from the TC. They're not get accreditation at Uganda. I went to Uganda. I sent in Karate Abide Tanzania. Abide work with them with the Tanzanian government by then. Um, although it was remote because I'll be start off first in person, but later on I go remote. Uh, you know, and the people in the Uganda then confirmed that. So it's in demand them be they do. Then we they use people there within we we I'm we embassy in Addis Ababa, right? Where they print them fake degree there, so then they put them carry it na 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 na, na Addis Ababa, Ethiopia. Then put her inside diplomatic pouch. Then carry it in a salon. Wow. Where they carry it in a salon. Then just they type normal now the person in him. Then give the person. Then just they type the person name, then give the person. So what if Fabu Lenfo realizes that um so where Sovula and Ion cohort they don't come now, they don't begin this way because the idea that um SPP na Bukman party became a political instrument where the two main opposition people them where they fight against the SLPP for pulling their power. One, Dr. Samura Kamara is a legitimate doctor. And Dr. Um, Kande Yumkela is a legitimate doctor. So the members within the SLPP, they became jittery. Then back once PhD them. So then decide for join this criminal enterprise for the buy fake degrees because where people and don't then begin to say, oh no, Sofula is not a victim. Sofula knew this was happening and he bought a PhD. That man they pay close to ten thousand dollars and provided security and safety net for Muhammad Yamba Bangura and the network of thieves. You know, doctor, so doctor, doctor Lahai, just before you, just before you go, just before you go further on this platform, we can like a little bit of clarification. Sometimes it's circumstantial, sometimes it's physical, but you just lay waste, doctor, mm, doctor. In inverted commas once more, um, um, IG Sovula, mm -hmm. say he pay a certain amount, you know, for this particular degree. Do you have evidence to that, sir? I get evidence to that to the effect, and not to in one pay. The clerk of parliament also paid. How you go? How you go? go how you go, go get a PhD from Africa Graduate University? Nobody, no supervise your dissertation. Where is your dissertation? <laughs> Where is we know where are the, the names or at least the people that will supervise you? Which university then they come on 2021? Una can go na political newspaper when na Umaru Fofana in newspaper they reported it around 300 students from Africa graduate university they protested, you know, for the for the education. Where government say they know they give their accreditation. Mohamed and Baba Angura unleash them on, on, on the people of Sierra Leone. Let them go do them protest. Right? Where they go do this, where they go do this protest here. Then the question came where they asked Mohamed and Baba Angura, who say this you college get accreditation? He say, well, because in no say we Uganda is safe. We go able to send with diplomats, we go able to send with investigators, then go to Uganda. Let them go investigate whether or not this is true. There and then, it then a newspaper. This is not me making it up. Go to political, I go post the link, let people read them. So he decides, say, when they ask her the question outside the accreditation, the there and then, and the man change in word, he say, the university is no longer accredited na, 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 na Uganda, now he accredited na Somalia. Eh, we all know, say Somalia, Al Shabab still the bomb day. Terrorism, they they steal, and the place is volatile. So the man knows says a long government not go able to send any investigator go na Mogadishu for go do investigation without them not put their lives at, at risk. Okay, now the now don't let that premise day. 
What is not the official language of Somalia? Definitely not to English. What is not the common spoken language in Atna Somalia? Definitely not to English. But Sierra Leone is an English speaking country. Why is how Sovulago will get a PhD from a university accredited in Somalia in supervisors them where supervising PhD thesis in a secondary school teacher? <laughs> You, you're not a secondary school teacher. You don't even get a bachelor's and read this like Igesa. You not search the name. The man even contest for counselor position. Now, Busia, a loss. You not, you not search the name. Henry dress like Igesa. Or you not just say Henry Igesa. N -G -A -S -S How you spell that? How you spell that, Doc? How you spell that, sir? Well, 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 I get them. Um, 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 okay, you can go, you can go ahead. Why would they try to forget some? Yeah. Anyway, Fambulem, I mean, this is a serious conversation we are having. It's about the soul of a nation if we understand what education is. And this now we guess they try for spell out today for show that bridge between education and the development of a nation where it is lacking. So a one-time country known as the anthem of nation now West Africa is today a laughing stock. I mean, we don't need for means we words. It's not funny. Funny when I say um, this is exactly what it is. A once anthem for education where people let me they come out all far and wide for can study in a cigar or take advantage of that. We'll be they do the paperwork, whether a civil service work for other West African nations, then we eventually emerge. Not even only Western nations, but also countries in the Caribbean, newly formed countries. We also took advantage of their situation and they, in terms of education we'll be get. We current speaker will speak to that, even though it's a completely different scenario now, because he represents in a legal form some of these colonies back then or, or these nations in the Caribbean. But today, as we speak, some kind of a laughing stock. And we they talk to none other but Dr. John E. D. Slahai, the man with the lead a crusade. Currently, against the fake degrees and the fake universities and those exposing those who are holding these fake degrees. And Fambule, when I know what is very important for this conversation, is the people who are holding these fake degrees are people who are actually running the country. And here is the thing, and this is not fearful. If you get fake degree and your position where you occupy, you need for make decisions, you know, if I take the country forward. Look, um, but look, um, I don't know. Make a, make okay. a, make a send this. Make a, make a send this one to you now. WhatsApp. So until you go able. Yes, send that to me. Send that to me. I'll be just one put on there because the, show, the case back is them. quite necessary. Yes, sir. And I know you are a research person. You know, I don't, I don't WhatsApp and to you. Now the picture okay, of the you. man Dandy. You know, in name, in name, in name Henry. You know, dreadlocks, Igesa. You know, na in begin this camera. The man even contest na in, na the, na the campaign na in campaign team that day. You know, a campaign under the FDC party for council opposition na in home tongue, but in all able in able survive. This was the supervisor of um na being na be somebody where they where be they teach na na the trade center. Na in na the supervisor. Of um and uh, 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 of that man in, in of um Ambrusovula in dissertation, PhD they take between in the US it they take between four to seven years, in the UK they take between three to four years for make someone get 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 a PhD, right? And be called uh, a doctor. Miss, yeah, for letting go we'll call you a doctor, but this people them because a three set of students them they na the Africa Graduate University for instance. Then get the student the way they call the toll gate student. For example, toll gate where you reach there, you they pay and you pass. Not to so <laughs> you they pay and you pass. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So then toll gate yeah. students here. So from payment of their fees to their graduation are 24 hours. Hmm. The inspector general Personal of police wave value between three and seven years, they take only yes. a day. 
a day for get them because at all gates, you know, we pay toll gates. You need yeah, to so come come yeah, so the so, so, so yeah, so the toll gate students, them, these are the big men in society, the clerk of parliament, the leader of government business, inspector general of police, and uh, top military officers. Now then now, now then are the toll gate students because it's more or less like a cult. They then trust them. Say if we give you this one secretly, you will keep your mouth shut. You understand them, eh? and how they are then be the how they are then they operate is that um then get a system whereby if they don't charge you say let you pay ten thousand dollars for your own degree, but if you able car with two people them or one or one person then go reduce your you money you can pay from you they get discount <laughs> exactly God. you they get discount so then they recruit somebody pa, and she wants to do another position they and this their competition they look inside like, go 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 let go buy your masters go let go buy your phd right so if so full of one, one argument let him pull in phd dissertation let him pull the let give me the name of the one the way supervise the supervise because i am respected in the in academia globally not just in salon absolutely, where they disrespect I am respected Absolutely. in the world, yeah. and every university where I want access, and they get access to them. I go one know the person in Absolutely. academic credentials, the type of contribution where the person don't do, and I go ask the person if I thought because for supervise a PhD, even me with all my credentials, me not a first supervisor for the PhDs of others, right? Me not just a second supervisor and a, and a dissertation reader for Markham and for say okay, the supervisor will supervise, he do the right thing and try for do this. So you see how. You know, even for example, I don't publish plenty, plenty. Let me I ask you one quick. Plenty, plenty paper them, but I don't, I don't even get the, the 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 gut for I even reach to the rank of an associate professor because it takes more than. Let just me ask you. Kids. Let me ask you one quick question on this, doctors, uh, Doctor um, um, Lahai. Um, obviously, I want to distinguish or explain to we the basic about honorary. That can be conferred on someone as opposed to the one where you go do all your research material and be supervised. Mm -hmm. Is there a difference? And if there is, will you spell that out for me, please? Because some they claim the other, if you understand what well, I mean. So you can distinguish yes. two for we, please. Well, make a for distinguish the thing is this a honorary PhD. Now title when I some two that they give now a honor just for the honor. Honoris causa, not just for the honor, right? And um, you're not supposed to use the title of a doctor after they don't give you honoris causa. No, it is wrong. Okay. You don't use it. Oh, okay. Okay. You don't use it. And secondly, okay, you don't pay for it. You don't pay for <laughs> okay. it. And it takes <laughs> and it takes between two to two to four years for a university make a decision whether they for confer on you. And 99.9% .9 of honor of honorary PhDs must be given within you when they give this honorary PhD, the university where they give this honorary PhD for be you your the university within you, your country of citizenship. Okay. Um I want to ask some short, short questions. You know, overseas can go give you honorary PhD, you for be either a head of state, you for be either a president. You for be an international civil servant, say you work like um like Kanda Yomkela has four honorary PhDs. But at that time he was under Secretary General of the United Nations and head of UNIDO. So he deserved it. So but he not use that as, as his title. Yeah, he not use that as his own title because he already has a PhD. But you know, ever put yeah. in the ever state I'm saying use them as, as that. But what they say about now a real PhD is that. You get for go through the preliminaries. But then you just where you even start your PhD course, then they even call you a PhD. You you know just a PhD candidate, you know you know just a PhD candidate, in the sense that they can withdraw that candidacy at any given time if you not perform. You get preliminary exams that we get for take. You take you take the exams, then they in the US they allow you for fail just once. You fail the second time, select so even if you don't do four years into your course, you are out. Pass, you go start all over again. In Cambridge, in Oxford, they don't even allow you for fail. In many universities, I do my PhD. They know they even encourage you for make you go fail. So after you don't do do your preliminary exams and everything, you get it in and they call the viva. But in the UK, now after we done your course, now tell you go do the 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 the, the, the viva voci voci. But we now you they do your viva six months where you where you start your doctorate. 
then you write a proposal, then you begin a UO coursework, then you fail them, even all that effort we don't do, you are you are out of the program. So in my university, in my own time, for instance, now we'll be 82 then a class. But now in my own time, now I must be able to graduate. It was just around uh, four or seven of us. And of and of we, I mean, are the only one we start and I don't get a hiccup. So man take the thing for five years. So even the one that we graduate with me, I me no more be able be be able to do that and me dissertation or I the Dynamic University, you know. So Doctor um, Doctor Doctor Dr. Lahai, um, um, let me talk about um, um individuals then a little bit. And the reason why we talk about individuals them, it's not like they are in a private capacity. These individuals then are government and senior government officials who are caught up in this scandal. But just before we go to these individuals, I want to let you address something quickly where they get a lot of people confused. So in other in other words, let me take the IG, for example, Ambrose Vula. He get a doctorate from um, Dominion Year, I believe. But as soon as the scandal was blown up, he reverse, he, he put them in reverse gear and say, he may not tell and say he's not interested in that, so he give them back. But a few months later, according to you, sir, I think about five months down the line, he announced he don't get a new PhD from another entity called the AGU. What's in the difference be if there is a difference? Or just for cut and short, they are both scandalous universities we involved in scam, the AGU and the Dominion University. But help with for your understanding if you can do that quickly. We want to understand this today because it seems like there is a design and effort for baffle people. And when you look at we um, 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 literacy level, Dr. Lahai, of course you come from the academic background, you know the percentage as per we population we literate. And then one day we illiterate, so we can easily be pried on and played on. So do you help with please? Well, the Dominion started off. Now pastors then get them. We decide say they will give themselves certificate, certificate, certificate. They wait and see say they don't begin give because they don't give seventeen bachelor's degrees, they don't give seventeen uh, master's degree. They don't give seven honorary PhDs, not to just Ovula no more than Guy. They also don't give, um, I think, um, between five, yeah, six PhDs, honorary PhDs, indifferent from the PhDs. This one are, are pastors them, and they don't get no international backing. How this dominion started, now one now group of missionaries, them, they can't salon, can't offer short courses to them, pastor they are. Where then go now? One of the pastors then hit the idea and say, Ah, Uba, we will do this one instead of then go out and they come. So then begin use them people here, yeah, they name them first. Any people are vexed, they say no, they say this is criminal. We're well, not draw with it, we're not interested. So then cut off with them as they cut off with them. And the man decide forget in informing you university and he go now corporate affairs, he goes, he go register them as a business, he come out now corporate affairs. Corporate affairs not ask question because they back in another entity we full of so many mal mal educated and fake degree holders them. After they don't get they don't get um, they don't get a license for operating a corporate affairs, Dominion University decide for go back na local council then go register day. So then go register there as an education provider, local council because the decentralization we they say people have for decentralized education. So the local council also, we're also populated by people. We get fake PhDs, masters and bachelors. They allow this man for operate. And not get any connection to the African Graduate University. They're so different. I don't get the history of the African Graduate University that now Uganda, yeah. now Instagram, he recruit somebody, then they call Mohamed Yamba Bangura. We now Sierra Leonean. We already don't get a long history of academic fraud. You know, so now they get that then now, now, now two entities them, but we get other universities them within Sierra Leone. For instance, we get the PGU in a in a, in a global uh, professional global university or professional global training institute. When a one man within they call Ali Make Conte, they say police don't hold a right now. They pan the road in Mohammed and by the jail. In getting you in back with the offer in an MBA program, then an MBAs then are they be the sell. You know, there you get the one now when they call the Commonwealth Universities there when are they um the chair, you know, the, the chairperson for board of directors 
now NRA, you know, um, Tuma Jabi, um, the, 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 the head, the commissioner for large tax department, when Ibrahim Suri, Kamara, in back get, um, um, if, if it go in back, in back, in back get a PhD from them, then, um, Brahma Balua Koroma, when I enter the, 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 the director general or the chairman of the Petroleum Regulatory Commission, uh, commission in back or to, uh, Re Petroleum Regulatory Authority in back get a PhD from them. Then, um, Reverend Smart Senesi, when I enter the overall boss for the road transport office in back get a PhD from them, then pay five, five thousand dollars. Then on for the conferral of their own degrees, mm -hmm. masters and PhD all happen inside one day. And it only take them wow. for study from for study for the course and everything one hour. Then take government money. Now make way my own brother Keketoma. He's a brother, a friend. Now who grew up in Brookfields. You know, uh, we'll be even they go they go now the same house because we get common friends. Say we left we go England for go study. You know, um, it can it can for can try for defend Tuma Jabi say President Bio appoint Mrs. Tuma Jabi because because she's credible. Be no, not a amount of not because they appoint you means say you are credible. Come on, right? The woman in credibility now make her ask I pose the question to state house to spokesman to the president. I ask and say this woman here where you they talk about say you know um. Wait, 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 they say credible. This woman really tell her saying a government money and they use all of them. We go na, that that are Commonwealth University, they go buy fake fake degree. Now, government money na, and they use for pay for the degree five thousand dollars. And whether they travel go Dubai, then can go delegations, then buy tickets for them delegate for, for them delegates. They ask we go with them using state money. Then give them per diem. The hotel outside they go lodge in a salon government pay for them. And um, so it is deep. Because since they don't say as a people in a yeah. government party, so then feel say this degree mill, then just they go Dubai one hour, sit down a posh hotel, then go take PhD, then come. When they carry the PhD, they call and say they send a honorary doctor and this one and that, right? The universities, I don't pull the transcripts, some of them, like um, Edward Ali, where they where Naina, the chief administrator, na Cambia, Cambia, you know, uh, Edward Alpha, rather, when a chief administrator, na Cambia District Council. I pull in, I, I pull in transcript, na do. I, I pull in degrees, then I do. He say, get a master's from uh, London, from London Graduate School, and a PhD from Commonwealth University. The Chancellor, na Commonwealth University, na in a Director of Admission or whatever it is, I know, I know, I don't forget the title. Na okay, University. okay, okay, Doctor Lahai, you they come to the point to our one we talk about we now about individuals, the acquiring of their degrees and how fake it is and the position the way they occupy and what in they mean. But I want for we put them in some kind of an order. Again, Fambulem, just a quick reminder when they talk to Doctor. John Idis Lahai, the man will lift the lead. Some something we definitely is a killer for a country. And you don't make them very clear the, the correlation between education and the development of a country. And the lack thereof of this particular thing here in our country means say we country make any progress, or the progress we will talk about is fake. And I'm not being political about this because this, this it not only begin now, it began quite a while ago. But having said that, in all means, say, whilst we deal within this uh, stage, we cannot handle this. And even by his own admittance, to which he get actions from the higher level, yet still, they not pay heed to what he even say. Yet he can public and if notice, one of the notices that we we'll put out there, he said clearly, he bring this to the attention of Infra, the ACC Commissioner, Mr. Francis Ben Kaifala. And if had been Francis Kaifala taking action, by now, there will be little known of this man lead because this is not his interest for, say, one day in a public media for the talk, all this talk, the government for the handle him. And we believe, say, in terms of which he would begin to understand, he did the right thing by going to the authorities and saying, hey, look, this is what is happening. 
This is what every courageous patriotic citizen does. Which and is Kelfana will deny that. But, Kelfana come to my yeah. page and he talk and say, indeed, Dr. Laibin contact me, but we but in want to make a fight in battle for I say me get vendetta against people them. Now then they make me want to use them. In not me not go able to use them. In mean mean I use them. The man cost me, tell me some kind of free free word them. Uh, and not deny them. Wow. Even, even wow. comments on my own page where I accuse them. He, he admits it, yes, I contact him. He said, but me get me on personal battle where I want to use the anti-corruption commission for go after me enemies. Hey, but me, me mama, his sister, his small sister, Georgiana Kamara, he give me lunch in FBC. I still hey, call her. FBC. How do you name, how name how and shame? Enemy? Yeah, you name how and shame. How do you name your enemy? She, she was never my enemy. still remain me, auntie. And this now I've been to say from the beginning of the program, you know, when I ask you about motive, it's critical, you know, and very profound because now that will be the try for established. And the fact that you come up from inside, when I say the inside, because in interviews, you said it. Francis Ben Kaifala is a friend and a brother. But you see how politics, you know, here can sort of be the poison chalice, doctor. That a friend, a man he considered for being a friend and a brother, he now see you today as an enemy. And it's not only him, it's like dozens of them. So when you say your life has been threatened, what well, we'll go come to the end of the program, we clearly understand why. Even before you say that, that was going to be a question on this particular um, um, program, sir. But here is the thing. Let's go back again you know, to where we were. Um, the head of uh, the college um, uh, peace and conflict studies, a lady, we get plenty of experience, but not get the requisite degree for the position. And the reason why I mentioned this, and few others why I go mention as well, you don't already mention a few. There is also this notion in which trying to, because to me, there's a concerted effort to baffle the Sierra Union public. For example, then they make a case for say, well, we not use the degree for acquire the position where we get, or for give it undue advantage as opposed to some requirement for some application process. The woman at the University of Sierra Leone, head of conflict department, we try so hard for cover in track, to which I want to commend you because for me, investigation I don't read. And Fambulema, they recommend when I go to Dr. John Lahai in page. He has a dedicated page. There's one on Facebook. All investigations, including links, they are there. Don't be lazy. Go and do it yourself so that you go get some information, not rely on the say. But back to topic, um, um, Dr. Lahai. This woman, you know, here yeah, in the university where you say, get yeah, this thing, and then go as far as Costa Rica. Then Phil say, them places they are there beyond your reach, or you go be one of those lazy Sierra Leoneans where you not go, go beyond. But, but yet you did go beyond, and you expose that. And today, as a consequence of that investigation, we know say waiting the Giam, even though he traversed the world, uh, North America, South America, and I think say ended somewhere in the Caribbean, now an island called the Belize or something like that. I don't forget, but I did read up all on that. Yet you'll be able to expose that because of the correlation, investigative journalism, forensic. So today we know say whatever she's got there is fake. There's somebody else at Natcom we they talk about, I think now Ronnie Cago. Um, the man from Unjala, and the correlation of time where he say Bisidona in Jala, and then where we been get the MM Johnny Paul um, um coup plot under Pakaba during that one year period where something unprecedented happened where they get for suspend graduation. But during the following academic year, those then will not be fortunate for graduate during that year back, I think that was in 1997, the Johnny Paul coup. They allow them for graduate, but that ten day one of these man them and I believe now Ronnie, he may already don't come England. So there's a disconnect there. But again, now waiting, I just read up in terms of my investigation. You know better. Help us, please. Well, that 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 is also another issue. Memuna to Pratt, when a yeah, minister of tourism, when yeah, Memuna to Pratt, when a minister of tourism and former head of department now for peace studies. I mean, mama and best, I mean, late mama, they were best of friends. Auntie Memuna, <laughs> you, <are in> <laughs> <trouble>. <laughs> you know, Auntie Memuna know me, even my wife. 
when my wife be day be day law school, be be day be day FBC they do in law, we be one get problem. I reported the matter to Auntie Memuna. Not to say na a stranger to me. Na me own auntie. And he say, you know, because we are accused, um, and they say, well, because how you go say Commonwealth University, London Graduate School, but London Graduate School now London, but you not get graduation now London. When I get a campus now London, we na two rooms and parlor. I was there in London. I go na the building. I put me I me and so I watch through the window, bed chair and everything. And then they na the na the, na the building. You not even get office chair. They say na the university campus dandy. I try for make a lead because then get one campus, one office now East London, then get one another campus, another one again now West, now the Western part. But I not be able to see now the only the, the, the Eastern you not be able to see. Then later on, the head pull a pull word in a door because all the one they will get this fake degree, so Memuna to Pratt and the other one they will go now, now grad uh, Commonwealth University, go buy them degree, uh, then get a WhatsApp group. I am subscribed to that group, but nobody don't know who that me. They don't search all side. They don't know who that, who that really. They don't know. But I'm subscriber. They get the update every day. Memuna to Pratt one come out publicly and say, you know, one the degree again. But some of them, especially that Brahma Balua, Kuruma, where they na when a director general or chairperson or chairman na petroleum regulatory authority, this then they stop Memuna say, me on crusade go die off very soon. Let me let, let you man just relax. Then now to the issue of Memuna to Pratt going to Costa Rica. Costa Rica I get direct connection day because I spent eight months na Costa Rica. You know, in 2000 and, uh, 2016 or so, 2016, 2006 or to 2006, 2007. That's it's a long time ago. But I still maintain my connections. The University of Sai Memuna say now they come together with um, London, with um, Commonwealth University for Gear and this PhD. Way back in 2003, the, the Costa Rican government don't close that particular college day. And the government will not adopt a law that no university in Costa Rica, not for award, not for do distance education outside of the region, and they forget an approval from the government before they do them. When I ask Memuna to Pratt if they talk Spanish, because Spanish is the official language of Costa Rica. And he say na the Costa Rican University or business school na den giam no. I get me on party then day way the lecture na the University of Costa Rica. They say they don't even sabi memuna to prat. How you go then a salon? You know to Latin America. You know come up Peru. You know come up Guatemala. You know come up Nicaragua. You know come up na. You know come up Costa Rica. You know come up na Panama. You know come up na 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 na, na Venezuela. You know come up Argentina. You know, come up Brazil when a Latin American country. You there all the way in a salon. They no sabi you Costa Rica no get diplomatic ties with salon in no form. We no even get ambassador or or, cons, or, or consulate. Na San Jose when at the capital city. They no get none na salon. Na de Costa Rica go just go sit down no more. University na Costa Rica. Then pull you memuna to Prat. Where even within salon, people are not sabi you na kenima. Even inside, even inside Freetown, people already they take class na Miltima guy, they not sabi you. But you then they go identify for go give honorary PhD. Eh, memuna to Pratt. You na me and see, but not take the country, you know, or not take everybody na salon as a fool. We're not fool. We're not fool. Memuna to Pratt. Started off well, she's brilliant. And be, and he start off in PhD in uh, Bradford University. At the time where I be still be they be they do me undergraduate studies na FBC. He not complete. He not do I me drop out of the course. Then sober-minded people they don't get PhDs. For example, Dr. Bawa. 
Don't go to Japan, na Hiroshima University. Don't go get a PhD, a genuine one from the University of Hiroshima. Dr. Charles Silva will teach me in FBC. He teach me political theory. Don't get a genuine PhD. And others, the likes of um, the late um, Lansana Como, don't go to Bradford. They don't succeed. They don't get a PhD. Memuna to Pratt felt threatened that him back forget a PhD or else he go lost in position as head of Department of Peace and Conflict Studies. Me not a talk as a stranger in a peace and conflict study because at lecture on a peace and conflict studies na FBC. Memuna to Pratt was my boss. Was my boss. So me not a stranger where I they talk this. Memuna to Pratt felt threatened. And I knew this. And not to yesterday, not to today. 2010, 2011, I lectured there. Yes, I began the largest amount of students them. From certificate, they go to honors. I lecture day. Memuna to Pratt felt threatened and he said, do it, he go do nana for lengo, get a PhD so that he go able, he go able shield now. And if any them bawa there and the other one, they want to try for, for challenge them, you know, for the position, for, for the position of head of department, he go able, he go able resist them. That was how that woman they decide for go pay. Let get, let, get, let, get, let get this PhD from this fake institution. If you say Costa Rica, then join on with you. Waiting at your contribution at Costa Rica. At least me, they, they, I live there eight months. I contribute to the cleaning of the cities. I contribute to environmental protection. I plant trees there in Costa Rica. If there is any Sierra Leonean way they know inside Costa Rica, it has to be me. But you nobody know Sabi. You know even Sabi how Costa Rica and your pots look like. Before I say, you know, they then, then they go give honorary PhD. Come on. If we try for be serious. For so, 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 Doc, there's something else about Memuna Pratt before we move to the next one, because you've done quite a good job there, I must say. And Mrs. F. all up and I stand to be corrected. In this area of discipline, peace and conflict studies and the accreditation of um, PhD and etc., whether an honorary caucus, uh, Costa, you call it now the United Nations or the government of the host country now Inga for being responsible for the accreditation or the conferring of that degree day to an individual. In the case of Imuna Pratt, I hope I get this right, or you know, and as like I say, I stand to be corrected. None of this is not the case. Is that true, sir? Or can you add to this if it makes sense? Like I say, if honorary PhD should be given to Memuna to Pratt, we will be a legit. It has to come from the universities then as alone, and not to all universities them get the right for Giam. Only PhD granting institution, university where they offer legitimate PhD coursework and dissertation, where known, where accredited, now then they give you PhD within your country. Honorary PhD get an implication in what they call international relations. Now, that they make if a foreign university give you a honorary PhD, it is in recognition of you, your work within you, your country. It has to be exceptional. And you for be a global citizen, that the work within your country get an impact on the global systems, be it institutions, be it the lives of people, everywhere in the world for memuna to prat in your case neither the universities them the legitimate universities then uh, costa rica i contacted all their offices they not even sabi would have a memuna to prat let me they talk and if they listen to me anti memuna you phd fake not to costa rica give you done day. They are all, so they, are all they are all watching, sir. Yes. I assure you. Memuna to Pratt, if they watch, Auntie Memuna, if they watch, your PhD fake. Take me to court and I will pull more evidence for show you. This is an open challenge now. If your PhD is legitimate, I they wait for a read from you. And another thing they want to tell you if you not go out for go rescind that your PhD day, you will not always get that Commonwealth University. 
Memuna to Prat, Tuma Jabi, Balua, uh, Ibrahim Sori, Senesi. If you not go out and, and, and pull and say, una no, no, and you not rescind that PhD, then you want pay back the monies, then as alone. All on a communication, they will not don't get inside our WhatsApp group and they release on our Facebook. Let people let's see how dangerous will be. Yeah, okay. So that yeah, is then um the other thing I just want to talk about Memu about Memuna to about anti Memuna is this. The idea that pass you get PhD before you perform well, now you don't lead them people here for let them go astray. Peace and conflict studies now a grassroots type of education. You don't need the PhD for make you make an impact. No. You know they talk Spanish. You know ever go do peacekeeping at Costa Rica because it's one of the peace, the most peaceful countries. I was in Nicaragua during the 2007 uh, tsunami. I was part of the team sent by the United Nations at I'll be there with the United Nations University. Now me go, we go work there as humanitarian, as humanitarian we, Now we will take up in the, the Sardinistas or... No, this not this. Uh, this not uh, the time where they be get um this um tsunami two thousand and seven. You know the tsunami okay. where 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 yeah where be up in the way be distracted. I be I be still in Costa Rica. So they send okay. we as volunteers. Then we go there. You know. Okay. So as a as a peace person, where you they go in in how to say situations of complex emergency, like you go Sudan, like you go that that Sudan that for like you go now Western country. Yeah. The one way they go help not here if you get a PhD. If not to greed, if not to if not to way for for use them fake PhD for confer on due advantage on themselves, there was no need for them Memuna to prats go try for buy PhD and it cause psychological damage on students because if student know if students call her Miss Miss Mrs Memuna to prats it affects like say then kill him it then might affects like say then kill him for. The doctor has to be attached. <laughs> you, you have to pull the doctor. You know, it's not the thing. Doctor, you know, it's not the, doctor the, 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 psychological, the psychological implications doctor, of that. Doctor, you know, doctor that one that damage many students. Them. Doctor Lahai, Doctor Lahai, um, um, thank you, thank you so much. Um, I just want to mention one or two more because I mean, there's a host of names, and, and then we go to some other um, side of this um, um, conversation where we try to inform the Sierra Union public. I want to talk about a ministry that are the Ministry of Agriculture, Forestry, and Food Security. Listening to the name alone, when, when you spell them out, it shows how critical this ministry is. And when they talk about agriculture for feed the people, but putting this aside and just calling a spade a spade, there's been a massive failure in terms of this ministry. And I'm not doing a comparative analysis between then and now. I'm only saying, as we speak now, this is the situation. And which are the try for bringing to you, sir, is the man where they head this ministry is also staying or tainted with this fake degree thing. And this man is none other but Abu Karim um, 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 Bakar or Bakar Karim, a man you will know very well. I've been wanting to let you create a picture about this Abu Bakar Karim for me and in terms of this ministry where they head. And a, a correlation to the output and education and why really we they fail. I mean, not too much of it because we'll get one or two more for cover. We're in a parental rally, not the clerk of parliament, but within a different context. So I want to address this Abu Bakar Karim, the Minister of um, Agriculture and Food Security, and why we find ourselves full side with it. And one critical statement where you make, because I've been making this as well, so it resonates with me. We tend for pretend or want for make people and for belief see. Now, in Russia, they carry out their special operations as they call them, or invasion as other people call them on February 24 of it. Now, all this we hard time begin, which is not the case. And I'm sure that's the same sentiment that you get. So tell me about this, Abu Bakar Karim. This man go to great length for high this in false city about in degree from, from college, uh, but you manage for expose them. Let me hear it from you, doctor. Yeah, uh, them. If you get back pain, you get um, arthritis, you get any type sick, we no need internal, you know, we no need say they for operate you. If you get headache, you want medicine, 
I they recommend that you go to one man where then they call Nos Abubakar Karim. Una Minister of Agriculture, Forestry and Food Security. Nanos. Nanos na England. He get a nursing degree na Kent University. Kent not de far from London. Abu Karim come, in fact, when he first come um, inside President Bill in government, they're not, they're not just at, um, 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 at the call as if appoint him immediately to that position day of, um, to the position of, um, to the position of, um, of minister. If I'm willing to see that the man in complimentary card this, um, I don't know how I go able to, how I go able to show and to fumble them, but make her forward them to to be brother, brother Prince. Um, I don't send them to you, sir. The man where he first came, he was appointed presidential advisor on trade and investment, and he was made ambassador at large. He be then at the office of the president. I don't know um, if you go come in again for make you go. You know, I know I didn't the show. I don't know if it's the show. Now compliment. Now in plaque this way the man get. He presents himself as someone who get a doctorate in the agricultural sciences. And not even get masters in nursing. You not even get I'm masters sure. in agriculture. I'm sure. I'm, yeah. Carry on, you please. Know, yeah. Um. So later on. He was appointed deputy minister, and I show the evidence. Even with where they taking oath of office before president, even where go to parliament, the document they were present included a forged PhD degree. Where he puts where they approve him in two thousand and nineteen, around July, I think. Where they approve of him, then in colleague where they all do this nursing, begin protest. Then the man secretly go to parliament, then withdraw the PhD certificate and all traces of him, then pull him back in the state house. Then where they appoint him now. As full minister, he was deputy minister number two because you get minister, deputy minister one, and deputy minister two. He was deputy minister two. The first one we come over there be appointed in 2019, deputy minister two. He be get the name or the title of Dr. Abubakar, ambassador Dr. Abubakar Karim, presidential advisor on trade and investment. Enos, when I get that word, Enos. Now, in the advice president on trade and investment, they only they wonder why make bicycle sit safe or, or spokes. So just a, just a quick one, Fambu Lemon, Dr. Laha. If you look at my background, you can see the business card of Dr. Abubakar. Doctor, because the Dr. Laha has been trying to spell out. But that has been retracted, and then things they can do then things there secretly, discreetly, without the Sierra Leonean people being knowledgeable. Don't know if say. There is so something you know here yeah, about the young of a snail. There you is know, something about the young of a snail. It's called slog. A slog. Yeah. That way it can. We all have a snail. The one within the shell, you can add for that left evidence behind. Even if you look at the now. But the young one will not get um, shell as yet. When it is waka, it is left so much evidence behind. This is exactly exactly atypical of the case that we are talking about this is the business card of dr um, um bakar uh, uh, karim and nine day being so in which he gets a doctor the shamefulness about this is he's retracted the doctor thing and he tried for doing discreetly forgetting for no say there is a trail of evidence all in them carry on sir doctor yes. a real yes. doctor yeah, so so if you see the that card the way we brother just don't show so underneath in name is a presidential advisor on trade, presidential advisor on trade and investment, and ambassador at large in the office of the president. A nurse where they give injection, tetracycline, 
you know, where they give Panadol. Now they go advice president on trade and investment. So this was in 2018. In 2019, when they do cabinet reshuffle, they appoint a deputy minister to he get the title of a doctor. Already don't you don't tell president say in come out from the agricultural sciences and everything. So where this thing begin leak now, say no, it was actually a nurse. And then go secretly in the parliament, they withdraw the PhD degree where he submit, then change the CV where he submit. State house back then withdraw every document and they make sure say they change everything. Where they appoint and now to full minister in the year 2021, I think it was around August or so. Now, Mr. Then they all I show evidence to fumble them. Now, Mr. Abu Bakar Karim. Uh, now, the only man this one at the world when PhD gets expiry date. <laughs> because me on PhD is not me on PhD, not the expire. In as much as it's an intellectual property, you know, owned by the university, the only person who get right for withdraw me PhD. Now, me university where I want them because it is still their property. But because I worked hard for it, it will remain mine forever. You get for day in breach. You get for day in breach of certain terms and conditions for letting them withdraw. Yeah, for the breach of terms, for letting them withdraw. But it cannot be withdrawn because, for instance, you only yeah. needed um, you only needed just one dissertation, a joining one, being marked and passed and peer reviewed for let go get a PhD. But Fambule, if me want fifteen, if me want fifteen PhD, I don't get fifteen PhD already because I don't write fifteen books. So each book for be one PhD, you know. So this man and us, he try for hiding track. I even talked to in family members, the extended family members, in your mama of blessed memory. The man lied to in your mama say he is a medical doctor. Remember, he don't can't tell president say he get a PhD in the agricultural science. He go tell in your mama where he born say. He, is a, he was a med in, I be a med in, a medical doctor in England. So he go try everything possible for like go in mama, let go, let go men in mama day. I don't go go into, into, into the personal or the specifics. But when someone go know, say this man here, so not ready for do, for give anything whatsoever we get for do with food security. In your household, the extended family members, this December we pass so. As Minister of Agriculture, this not to anything way bad. Now half bag rest, now in the man can go in family to a family house. Now that half bag rest, then I for eat December and January. I get a photograph of the of the half bag rest where this man can go. Not to say I sit down no more. I investigated this matter. I enter inside in family household. Till we sit down in parlor, all I get pictures them because we get for expose them people here. You know, he go tell your family members in a medical doctor, whilst in reality he's a nurse. He go tell president say in day into 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 trade investment and the ag and agriculture, he deceive them. Then when they see why president be fail hopefully because this are not about because next year an election four years you will not able to get food security. Look at the cost of living in the country. Now the likes of Abu Ab Abu Karim now cause that. How you a nurse? We train for give an adult to people. They go advise president on trade and investment. What do you say? Even me when I me, mean, when for say I don't write books in, in state fragility in economic development. If president why appoint me trade and investment advice, I they tell and say, but that is not my area. Because I know give you wrong advice. If not to wait for do with economic development, broadly speaking, I go able to provide advice for you because that is my own expertise. If not to wait for do with state resilience, I will provide advice. If not to wait for do with peace related, I will give you advice. If not to wait for do with international relations, I will give you advice. If not to wait for do with um, you know, the management of the public sector, I will give you advice. But I will give you advice on trade and investment because that is not my forte, you know, uh, uh, my forte. So this is the, uh, the Abu Karim. And um, the other issue where you raise along the line. Um, I don't know if something I go something some, 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 I cannot write and down. Get for do with um um if you go just remind me, you ask me again another question. Yeah, there were two, there uh, were two, there were two questions. There were two questions in one in, in one, um, um Dr. Dr. Okay. Lahai. But that that's that's fine. I go I go still remind you. 
do. Well, just yeah. add this to that. So one of the issues that we will try to establish the Naya Fambul today, and we they give Dr. Lahai, you know, yeah, the opportunity, the chance for let it dwell deep into this issue because this issue not a joke. They don't create a political divide in which the politics has become so tribal. We don't even talk about the politics as yet. This is just reality that we are talking about. Something where they happen in real time. This is what Dr. Idris Lahai is talking about. This is happening in our country. You can fall time, you can say, well, you are a member of the Renaissance and what have you, and I can equally sing. But at the end of the day, he's saying something which is relevant to the development of the country, which implies every one of us not to personal, but in the collective, 7.5 million Sierra Leonean, if you can go by the last census. And that's what we are saying. So they expose ministers them, government officials them, were involved in a fake degree scandal, where they use this same fake degree for attending position, and then in the end mislead the president. And as we hear from Dr. John Lahai, in the end, the government of President Bio is not succeeding and you don't have to look far beyond because the people them around that wait for advice or policy developer them wait for implement policies them. But before you implement that, you get for developer them. They've got no clue. They've got no clue because they're in the wrong position. And are all because they are po uh, projecting themselves as these people with the possession of certain academic or specific disciplines, which of course, not to two. But luckily for we, we get Dr. John Idris Lahai na the platform here tonight. Dr. John Lahai, this go deep and it even go deeper. We feel it will be no go deep, but it even go deeper. The cabinet ministers, them, of course, they operate at the pleasure of the president, sir. Everybody knows this. So the president can hire and fire willy nilly, they say, in England. But parliament. Suppose, in practical terms, be one of the co-equal branches of government, although it is not. Here is the thing, doctor. Within the parliament, you've exposed a few people. Minister, uh, I mean, the uh, head of business and uh, parliament, the head of um, uh, the deputy speaker of the house, will actually address you. He actually addressed you. I listen to the tape. You can hear the frustration and the vexatiousness now in voice. And again, the reason why I asked you the question earlier on distinguish between these two universities, if anything, therefore distinguish these two fake universities, um, um, Agu and um, Dominion, is because somebody they try to say, well, I not get me on from Dominion, but I get me on from Agu. As if Agu is ac you get accreditation for actually conferring degrees on these people. And that's the deputy leader of parliament saying this. But the point what I want to bring to you, Dr. Lahai, is that the deputy um, um, speaker of parliament, the deputy leader of parliament, and this is a very, very powerful man. A sit on a parliament and get his fake degree and they, de and they, they defend the fake degree. But parliament get an onus or a responsibility for equally investigate, just like how Francis Ben Kaifala, your good friend and brother, also get this um, um, position for investigate things as such. Now, Parant Tarawali, uh, Dr. Lahai, is sitting in a parliament where the case eventually has been taken. And as I understand, a committee has been formed and they don't give doctor, a real doctor for that matter, um, um, Dr. KKY. Now in at the head for this investigation. I wanna you weigh in. Contextually, sir, would they look at Ura and Didi? I wanna you bear also bear in mind that the president a get sent to him. We can suspect and say some of the people in our party, but let we base some on resumes. So resumes are to him. So based on their resume, then they he sends somebody in a parliament for approval, say oh, based on which I don't see. See, this man can help me for take me project forward. So he send in a parliament. A parliament approved. Then same people there we get fake degree. Dr. Lahai, I don't go further. You know, you're like making the case, but I guess you understand exactly who's how they go, sir. Try for explain to me between state house, parliament, the occupants of them position there inside them serious body there, 
the arms of government, how then they operate, and how 30 day with all of your exposition. There has been no suspensions. These people are still serving at the pleasure of the president, despite the stain. What is going on, Dr. Lahai? Um, let me make um, um, one clarification for some, you know, where you've been talking. Um, I don't say that in a mistake. We say the deputy speaker. The deputy speaker na na eno get eno get um eno get a fake a fake a fake education. Oh, na paranta uh, wali abi the try for. Na paranta, yes, yeah, na paranta wali. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's not the deputy speaker. Yeah, he's, he's, yeah, he's the clerk of parliament. The clerk of um, parliament. Thank you very much. I yeah. appreciate that. Yeah. Now, one thing people have for know, and make we not use misuse or just relax we self. We then say people or go or somebody minister or somebody they they serve at the pleasure of the president not mean saying at just the pleasure of the president yes the president's constitution gear power for hire and fire but make we understand them based on waiting we law say president they hire and fire but when president they hire the person get for go through parliament. Who does sit on a parliament? Na parliamentarian. Who does this parliamentarian? Na the representative of the people of Salon. The representative of the people of Salon. Na then then a parliament. So indirectly, na the people, na then they approve of the one where the president they hire where president they fire not a we business with the people them not a we business but just that where the, the person where the president they they they, they, they hire next for replace that one way he fire with the people for approval from so we for understand say the president is an a tie let people are not just give a free you know, uh, president don't, don't, don't hire this person. We they see in America, president they nominate, Congress they say no. Congress are the people they represent. Then they say no. The person they withdraw in candidacy or the or the person the, 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 the person they withdraw in candidacy say okay, president you nominate me, but the people do not want me. Or president they say okay, I withdraw you because people do not want you. So the the context of hiring, president they hire, but if we not approve, the hiring not they go before. Would that would that would put because seven million people no go sit on at the stadium? We say okay, 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 okay. We don't approve of you. No, we we'll make our points with one hundred forty something or so. MP them, let them they approve of them guys. So then get committees, select committees on this and that, right? So then they do their approval there. So so on the firing, president can fire not on your own business, but just that would they replace her with for no. Then another thing I want to talk that uh, why make the president not able to do anything. Right now, the president is in a state of shock. We will know it in the cult psychology. Uh, we do psychology on, on understand what it means. There are three types of things then they happen with somebody, they, with somebody, something frightening happen to them. Either you run, what they call flight, you take flight, you run, or you fight, or you freeze. President day in the state of in the, 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 the day in a frozen state or in the state of stasis. Then they win a physicist, right? Where some something don't remain constant, you know, they move in a shake no side. Because with me, revelations, they even shock the president. So it will take maybe a month or two for they really realize and say, wow, this really don't happen. So, so Dr. Lahai, Dr. Lahai, I want to hold your thoughts right there. I just want to push back on a few things so that we can understand. You you say one or two things or three things where I want to let you clarify. And let me begin with the last one, that the president is in a state of shock. How do you know this? Let's forget the psychology. You spoke as if you are aware. You've been told or you've seen him and you realize he's in a state of shock. Will you clarify, please? My brother... A state of shock can be a subjective. The benchmarks the way I use go different from you, your benchmarks. Yes, we for blame them. 
And I always they say, na leka, na big brother to me, and now na we papa na the country is the fountain of honor. But fountain of honor, we self for tell and true. President Bill in weakness, and then they na ingo na in cost them so much, is that he's slow for act, and not also a leader for day. Waiting happen enough you know, for remain quiet. Waiting happen enough you know, for sit down. They watch for say no. Waiting happen automatically. Way happen like the likes of Paul Kagame. Like he don't go into an action. He don't suspend the whole a whole cabinet. And he say we now also submit to a civil a vet to now. Would that would I approve of? I go announce the name within one week. This is what leaders them will really understand. The essence of being, of being tough and at the same time being kind. But President Bio's main weakness is that he always the delay in actions. He always believes that okay, everybody deserves a second chance. But we're not, we know, we know they at second chances anymore. We are 61 as a country. If you believe in the natural goodness of people, because that is President Bio in, in your understanding that political theorists, them, you get people when a political theorist will say Motaman them burn them as wicked people, them, and therefore the law for be very tough on them. Now the law did make them be good people. Then you get people that way believe, say leaders that way believe, say mortal man them, them born them good. And if they make mistake, then deserve a second chance. And how then they exhibit that? One, for just remain silence, then they will talk quick, then they watch. Or they call you secretly, they advise you, then they try to give you a chance. Then when well, they come out, not, not, Ella, hi, not if you not if you have a time frame, sir. Let's say, for example, mm -hmm. the, the, the mandate of the president is a five-year term, parliamentary exactly. term. Exactly. Yes, sir. Exactly. And, and, that, is what I'm, and that is what I'm talking about. Right? We are 61. Forget about the president in timeline. Because he's an individual. They come and they go. Now we focus on this on salon, then timeline. 1957, I think Ghana gets independence or, nine, or 1950 something. Nigeria get their independence, I think 1960. People then will correct me if I'm wrong. Then we get we only 1961. Botswana much later in South Africa, 1994. We then get a democratic dispensation, although they don't be independent for so long. Then we then ask ourselves the same time. We salon the, the third civil war. And at the same time, Rwanda, where then President Paul Kagame, with then capital city, when uh, you know, um, okay, let not go, let not go into specifics of geography, but now just look at at um, from the angle that 1994 there was a mass genocide. Over a million people were killed. Salon uh, around two to three hundred thousand people and then lost their lives. But Rwanda, well, I don't know side they, I, I don't really know side they get a figure and they from, but if not the Rwanda genocide you're talking about, conservatively speaking, is eight hundred thousand. Sigalion speaking is seventy five thousand. So the figures and okay. then they look massively well, the, exaggerated. Yeah, the, figures, the figures na na Rwanda na the head count within the museum. Okay. okay. But um, but we know genocide they happen in a village. There we are mass graves with it the nobles. So. As um, someone when a researcher, we know they look at the conservative official figures. There is always waiting and they call the possibilities for, for, a, for, a, for, for a large chunk of, of marginal error. So what okay. does it put as a, you know, over a million people, you know, in based on your assessment, anybody can use in your assessment. There was so much da dangerous things that were happening inside, inside Rwanda. But where is Rwanda today? They get the cleanest capital city. Then get a GDP which I don't only dream of. They don't achieve waiting and they call 50-50. There are more women in the parliament and more women in Kagame in cabinet. The essence of domestic violence is almost to, the, to zero. Or the problem yeah. of domestic violence is almost zero. 
You know they import used clothes, junk clothes again go to Rwanda. All clothes where they sell in Rwanda and new clothes. Would they get they get they call thrift shops? Them na England. Who we'll say somebody they go buy used clothes na England? But you don't find them there in in Rwanda. Na new clothes. Then they tell you say the country don't move from being a poor country to a middle income chasing for become a developed economy. Yeah. So now we look at salon timeline. Sixty one years. We just don't celebrate them. Forget about President Bill in five years. Sierra Leone don't late. So many people are crying. Then they even one call right now, everything come back and colonize we. Because we lost the plot. We get double Dakar buses them. Who side them go? We be get railway. Where am? The museum self when a museum outside the railway day, 99.9% .9 of salon people and also be outside day, including 90% of President Bio and cabinet ministers then. They're not be outside railway museum then and salon. So we don't already done late. So the delaying, the delaying or the inaction of President Bio because I don't get evidence. What in this man they wait for? Well, that's that's exactly my point. But you see, there is a contradiction here, Doctor Lahai, and I must say this to you. Um, at one point, you seem for be um, um excuse me, the language could be wrong. You know, you're like patronizing because you they, you they try for walk a fine line. You don't you don't antagonize the minister them any in director them by you know laying waste this fake degree program with and they pan, but at the same time the president way hire them is still keeping them but now you they are, why you try for make a case for them that in delay in, I mean in one of in weakness and delay in taking action will make me talk about the time that you get five years at least for this parliamentary period. And you get probably less than one year, one year, two months left going to the polls. And now you they say, what is he waiting for? That's the question most Sierra Leoneans are asking, just like yourself, doctor, will make the case. What is the president waiting for? So this is not only a case where you don't know. The case is so high profile that the president knows. But one thing back way I not see you the talk is, if you not a brother and friend, to the appointed leader, this is special of the ACC, Francis Ben Kaifala. He's the right hand man of the president because of a special position. And the man is upset with you and he don't tell you straight, even though you carry the case, go to him. How do you expect the president, you know, for take action as to the speed where you go on for let you take action? Where the people that we surround them, we're able for take that case to him and make you case for him, they're opposed to you. What if Abu Lefo realizes that um, from the one, I not try for, I not try for absolve the, I not try for for exclude the presidency from this from this thing, and I don't say him and I go say him again. We electing a president now one thing, but the president remain, how they call herself, accountable to the people. Where as he say, the one day when I put the positions of authority, why give them evidence instead of they fight for me, they fight against me. I take my case, go to the people. What did the people learn for do now? Now for me, then go meet the MPs them, and I have said that before, not to today, they can talk come. I don't go tell that before. When I get to the MPs them, where they appoint, where they elect rather, Una, they are elected members of parliament. If you're the Brookfields, you get the MP way cover Brookfields. Una, Cherry Coco. Go meet them and tell and say, Cherry Coco, we need action. Parliament now, where Cherry Coco will take the matter go to parliament now, Cherry Coco, then go sit down now in a quorum, then write a letter demanding that the president take immediate action. Then get right for some of the president go to parliament and ask them the question, why you the delay? I am a private citizen. Now, the best thing they do so by, by giving you the evidence on social media. It is left with only the people alone. I go meet on an MP because me not a call for anything like civil disobedience for the uh, for, 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 for violate the laws of the land. 
But when I can go meet on an MP, when I demand, if everybody go meet in MP, all we MPs there, when I demand, when I put pressure to them, when I write them official letter or open letter and newspapers them, then go demand the president for appear in a parliament, then go ask the president where to make steel. So voila. We get a fake degree. Even if he not know, he, so he ought to have known, he still occupied that position there. Why you not suspend certain ministers that we don't get this one? So me, me just me they just they do I'm I not hide the president of or say I try for protector because by the end of the day, now if people then get for go go ask 2023 elections. But wait a minute, unless alone people learn look at this because if we try for say okay, lot of focus now on the president to get again five years, automatically we don't put on we don't put on through what they call party lines. Doctor, you know, so as soon because if we say 2000, no, la, 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 just make this last clarification. Yeah, go ahead, please. Say, yeah, if we say president get okay, now five years, you get timeline. If in, in all they succeed now, you know, so you know, and people linger for go ask next year. As soon as we talk, and the man was elected and he still gets a support from the SLPP. So, as soon as we talk that, say, then you know, timeline and the president in timeline, we already don't put her into politics. So, okay. when you make emphasize the timeline of Sierra Leone. Now, for let you know, say whether you are APC, NGC, SLPP, the failures of whatever or the or, or the or the or, 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 or the decision of the president of our act, it affects you. Every Sierra Leonean is being affected. And you as Sierra Leonean where Sidona owes where they support their one with fake degree, your destiny is also being mortgaged. Absolutely. So now they make a want law, we get law, we get a broader picture. No, forget about President Bio in five years. He's a politician. It can be voted in and be voted out by the people. But if we not get a national way of looking at this problem of fake degrees, we it go fail. This movement go fail. And me no one give me a particular. I start off with my family. Now they first begin exposed. Before I go to ministers, before I go inside parliament. And within within the next three days. I go go inside parliament and go inside state house back and pull out a cabinet minister name. So make we understand. This is not about President Bill in five year term. Dr. Lahai, the only reason why we mention Dr. Amin M. President Bill in five year term is because basically of where we were at the conversation, we make a mention them. And this was about time because it's like the president need for act four years on. Is not acting. The cabinet is loaded with people allegedly accused of having fake degree. And then the president still they keep them. But you make a case say one of the weakness of the president is in, in, in delay for act on even issues them. Hence why I mentioned say, but the president, you know, there's a time scale. He got five years. If he not act now, when is he gonna act? Or he already knows say he will win the next election before he act. I don't think that's the best practice, but that's just my opinion. Yeah, I but understand. It, yes, sir. But Dr. 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 Lahai, um, um, we they come towards the end of this interview. We get small time though for touch on few things, maybe um, um, um little bits and bobs here and there. But just for remind Fambulem, we are having the man will lift the lead on fake degree in the country. And um, we're not even, of course, largely what we talk about is politics, but not the extreme politics. So Okay, but we will come to that to the end of the program. Talk about really extreme politics because there's politics as play at play. And at that, I understand the doctor they try for use for for call on Sierra Leoneans, then put this political spectrum aside, whether green or red, and left for once, you know, the stripes of green, white, and blue be your decision maker. In other words, the decisions um, or the things that will happen now. Is affecting every one of us, regardless of whose party you are affiliated with. But whilst you are affiliated with your party, your country for be false. And when they talk about people that would fake degrees where they make decisions for we, and the decisions are not even going right. Where is the righteous indignation? Where is the outrage? And that the doctor is talking about. He's laid the case. Sierra Leoneans, what are you waiting for? Not then at the background, you where you and your friend missed over a pint of beer or two, just on a tree, now the place you go express yourself. Use the social media space and express you, you, you anger. Try for mobilize and organize. And like he say, he's not calling for civil disobedience, 
But it's just the call for let the message grow louder so that those in authority know say the electorates are not happy. It's as simple as ABC. Doctor, anyway, sir, um, I don't want to get carried away by this because I feel I feel your pain. Um, I'm old enough to have witnessed we country being the anthem of education na the region. I'm old enough for ride double decker bus where you talk about. I did ride double decker bus. I'm old enough for ride train. I born na thirty eight guard street na PCMH. And I live there enough where I don't grow up a little bit for see the hospital was born, how clean and professional it was. How we nurses them with their starch uniform and that little white thing pant up their head and how disciplined they were. I saw all of this. I saw the clean streets at Bacha when I been Kisisti, it's Kisi Road. Very, very clean, sir. I saw Clock Tower and many, many other iconic side them we've been clean and um, um, companies, AJNet, um, Bata, Micheline, and you name it. So when you speak of their era then day, now something we're very close to my heart. So I understand where you are coming from. Yet 60 years on, just like you see, the country lay waste. The people are disappointed. But most of the youth there, because we get a very youthful society, not understand that era they where they come from. Hence the disconnect. How do we connect the youth? Uh, yesterday, this feeling they were there to today. Or let them really feel the pain and understand who's the country or how the country for go. Because the idea, Doc, is like um, there's a disconnect, sir. This thing where they raise up is so serious, but it might be very, very serious to me and the way I go take them, as opposed to ask somebody who is far more younger than me go take them. Because they become comical, you go your language, then go come on like the country don't get yakba if you're not able to for pull up. Then after three months, and you know, say the people and self where they empower, then they buy time. They no say the outrage can come, and we've seen many of this. But it's just a matter of time. People then get for think about basic living. What do they eat tomorrow? How do they put food on the on the table for their family tomorrow? And the cost um, um, of living, it continue for go over the roof for basic Sierra Leoneans them. The lifestyle of Sierra Leoneans them, it continue for deteriorate. So they get for focus on that. So we see your issues as this way you they propagate, so they come on. Then they yeah, but for let them you know express that outrage, then get something when uh, of priority to them, which is unfortunate. I wonder how you will try for rein this in and organize a campaign for let we take to the government and tell them, look, we are not happy, and the president need for take action. If you get people that we get fake degrees, they don't need to be there because this is a stain on your government. This is a stain on the society. This is the stain on the country. And we are laughing stock both at home and abroad. Well, I want to first of all tell people them the in um you talk about Bata, you talk about AJNet, you talk about Michelin, you talk about all them companies here, so they are gone. They go because of the incompetency of we leaders them. Yeah. But again, um, the leaders, then, how many of them? They don't reach 500. Mm -hmm. I'll tell you for free. They yes, don't reach 500. They're with the people, them. We are over, I would say, over, say we, are, we are 7 million people. Then. Uh, you see the disconnect between the young generation and, the, and even the older generation. Now, the outcome, now, two things they're responsible for that. The first thing we're responsible was that um, politician, they know like smart people learn, but their smartness, they use her in the wrong way. Yeah. You see food, we post in the eat. If you angry, you angry, angry, tell you know able to get anything. The certain cells then then are the brain we for operate, we for give you sense, then they die off, or then they then they, if they're not die of self, then they go into slow motion so that the brain, the blood will focus on other things, them where certain, you know, components of the brain, when are they yeah. more the blood go, they go. So the sense part of the brain, they remain dormant, whilst the other part of the brain, they remain active. So politicians, they understand, say, the, that's what they call poverty. Then go able to use them as a tool for control the people. Yes. yes. So where somebody not getting for it, now then they go make you get the stamina for talk boko. <laughs> Absolutely we're correct, person, though. We're person, land book. 
proper book. Now then they give them the thing for they become intelligent. We person understand the essence of in life. Why it in the world we connected to Osa you they live. If person not get malaria, the person go able to think well. But what you make on this is say we not able to take action for we end malaria and other sickness them. And po poverty, food insecurity, these are all political instruments being used by politicians for make sure so they keep the people them. Because if you don't tackle, if you don't tackle poverty, where you they come now for come votes for, for come campaign for the next election, you go focus on something else. But from 1961, we don't they talk about poverty, 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 they see fine, 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 fine manifest to them. They don't want to let go of that particular line of narrative. Then the other thing again, which to make there has been a disconnect with the young generation and their own destiny with the don't left the politician hand, is that after the war end, everybody depressed. There is a psychological component to this. Then take gun at people their hand, but they not try for disarm this mindset of people then. Now then they make way politicians send somebody for go do bad, they see the youth man, and then they run go do the biddings of the politician because we not be focused during the DDR way then they take gun at people their hand, they're not be focused on the on 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 on, on mental health. So when depression don't set in so bad, certain reaction they happen. And one of them now, the fatalistic way for react, I left me own case to God. Where Salwe Fambul person left in your case to God, it not be seen what the politician do. <laughs> Whether the politician do the right thing or do the wrong thing, and all they be seen then because it just don't left all thing to God. Absolutely. You know, correct. And they all are just a sign of depression. Nine yeah. out of every ten Sierra Leoneans within Sierra Leone, nine out of ten, then they suffer from acute depression because of the way how they don't hold them to ransom. They are there, then they inside an entrapment. Politicians they use the poverty narrative for keep people them because if you don't get food security, food don't become so cheap. Any side people at one time, there are jobs, joblessness with the counter as be, at below one percent, not the 70 percent. So side they below one percent. You the politician, we come for next election for can campaign. What you go to talk about now? How for make rockets for going to the moon? How for make records for conquer the stars? How for make rocket for going to Mars or Jupiter? You not go focus on the line of argument for say I go give an arrest, I go build schools because you already don't fulfill them. So if they end this talk, say we go build school, build this one, and try for tackle poverty, automatically the society go become enlightened. And when the society become enlightened, they're not going to ask for bread and butter issue anymore. They're going to ask now the government say, wait in <laughs> our own position now. How many submarines that we don't get? How many you know uh, uh, aircraft carrier that we don't get? We don't get we own we own NASA, what we we'll call salsa or whatever yeah. it is for conquer yeah. the space because America yeah. get NASA. So because yeah. we know we we'll call we own salsa, you know, or that salsa dance where then get na 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 Costa Rica outside maybe not to start getting fake PhD. <laughs> you know, so, so all then see so we the see I'm saying yeah. that is where it is coming from. So, but by the end of the day, we get for understand, and then there will be a closing where I will tell people they're waiting at the cost of them fake degree as on our economy. Yeah. Because we're not touch on that very important issue, but let which me I was, that. which I which I was just uh, I've been yeah. I've been come I've been come to that, Doctor Lahai. In other yeah. words, the way I have the one put on to you, I yeah. ask him briefly earlier on. But in terms of academic credentials and the direct relationship we get to the performance of um, government ministries and etc. Now that I'll be one put to you, and I think saying so, that now you want to address, but definitely I was going to come to that. But since you are ahead of the interview and we are coming towards the end, do I take your time for address that, sir? Please, if you will. Okay. Salon Fambuldem, this are the this are an address to now from the for me on heart. Because me now na yon brother, me now na yon picking. You know, me now na yon enemy, me now na yon friend, me now na yon frenemies. Because <laughs> some man and they hate me right now. 
and um una for understand where we say fake degree na counterfeit degree counterfeit we get the name and the sign of a real a full or real degree we come up from a fully accredited institution or something we them bogus university also don't take within the offer and then they sell them outrightly and then they sell them outrightly to the to the people there or to the communities them of we own fambul them now we own country and then they, they get an impact on the legitimacy of we own country in terms of the image the global image of we own country in the international system so where you say fake degree nine intellectual property theft intellectual property theft in the sense that legitimacy is being stolen property where belong to a university is being stolen and it is and it has been forged and people that don't forge degrees them and they don't make sure say they don't do things the way they're not supposed for do now we economy you know so waiting the next one out me they tell now waiting at the cost and what size salon go wrong we say we'll get this problem they like today the number one way to make salon get and wrong and we wait to make fake degree get for proliferate now we now we country now because we not get a coherence and a harmonize uh policies them we link with international best practice and procedures for the accreditation of institution them tc exist but in not they work with the international best practice because they're not even understand within the deeper so you get a dubious a dubious corrupt reading system whereby the quality of assurance and insurance because where education institution they operate you they you base them on an insurance scheme if you fail for satisfy the student government they charge you to court or the students get right for charge the university to court say there is not that way they call value for money so when i will get a responsibility then the second one, how Salon get this thing, whole thing wrong, now the inability of the government for let them put an end to it in and they call the black market. Then Swayze boys them, not today at the talk, but now. The black market, now the clandestine economy, we don't rival with the formal economy. Whereby people do not believe in the banking system anymore, they believe in their own type of modeling of economics where they feel say that is the economy where they want for develop so where you get a black market they thrive automatically the degree business they become part of the black market so anybody yes. get in printer and in computer now also it print degree them it give you and uh, you take them um, you go you go fair work either at the private sector or not the formal economy so the black market economy they, they create a room for let fake degree them and fake degree granting institution and let them thrive now with country then the third side again is that um there, there is this problem of the politicization of we universities them and and we university sorry and we university granting institution there yes we all been known the days of pasheki in 1978 then get a system whereby the president became the chancellor of the university and therefore the curriculum the courses the way that they offer again for fit neatly then they put any topic where they will be critical of the president then they'll put any topic we go critical of parliament then they'll put any topic we will make you the student you learn for think like it's like 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 a different human being then it make you they think like a, like a slave political servitude cultural negritude all then thing then they now the impact of the politicization of universities then then the other thing again will lead to let, let them fake degree them proliferate let them plant in our country now the rise or the technological advancements alone don't enter the age of the com of computer the first computer came in the 19 in 1980 i think it was john benjamin aith africa technology something holding now then the first car with them but later on now the computer don't come dr sylvia Blyden, be play a role we carry with the entire way carry with your business we put away them they do this internet then it causes them so when people then begin see this and then begin design things then now all must have been designed a for paper then they be lead to that because we'll not be able to try for create a structure where we want then the other thing again will lead to that is that the failure of the government for letting go draw a connection between fake degrees and the poor performance of the government because any government will come they look for saying that ukraine they look for saying that this problem here 
because they fail for dry connection between them performance and the type of education educated workforce we then get then they lead for the fake degree proliferate then the final reason for that is that we get a cyber loan as a loan but this cyber law the minister of information on oh, what that cyber law there is nothing whatsoever we link fake degree buying and selling as a crime on that because once well, somebody they go buy they go buy degree on the internet then they for fall under the cyber laws of the country because then in a cyber crime you know in a cyber crime so then in all day so now now that we don't establish the reason then from Bule, make a tell now waiting at the cost the first cost we already don't know when i see how the poverty they are salon right now then they are the number one reason because you get people away half baked take for example natcom somebody will not get degree no side you know get no legitimate degree you get two director position director of administration and director of human resource management who are you expect the country for go before then the second cost is that it gets a cost on the legitimate right holders them tell me don't get me own degree with legitimate then somebody go he mistakenly just pull an army bag he go he carry and go na side then go scan them then they pull me your name come out then they put the post in your name then they it gets a cost on the legitimate right owners the way now the person we get the degree and also the universities them where they offer up so when they see the obvious cost that the universities then now they are in competition with the one them where they offer fake degrees you know the fake degree market for the market shares because rem remember if on all, all universities there or the cons alone know they of no fake degree no they then they go force people and let them go now they with universities they let them go seek admission and if they go seek admission then they pay college fees and when they pay college fees now so the call now so the university then they get money so now that's then the university know they get more students them because people have been for example, that go and they go sit down four years four years now fbc or ipam or seven years the college of medicine why not just go buy the degree tomorrow i get them so man then they go first now so Z, then go down then go all then go this one then drag 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 then raise the money then pay then buy the degree then get them then, then they look at the one that now we not get no education we don't go so far in a college genuinely they say we see you don't go so far me i don't go so far i don't pay i don't get me degree so the right so the legitimate right owners them they then then they suffer then the second one is that you know it they it they, it then the government they get problems in the sense that um you know the the, the image of the country self will be damaged internationally we're not going to get complete salon tango come and mid already begin to do that i don't begin to address the parliaments of the the the, 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 the of, of several countries the, the education select committees i don't begin to address some donor countries them then parliament them and all name them and then government yeah then they give plenty money to salon i don't tell everything at the problem so you're not going to be surprised if in the near future you apply with your salon degree then tell you say no we know they accept degree from salon and then they go force you now let go meet you mp and tell us say hey this problem yeah so if the mp now if we now all do not accept on our colleges they overseas then they go make you get it right and tell the president say pa, yeah just, just just a just a just a quick one dr lahai just a quick one dr lahai i asked a question about inside the parliament itself earlier on and this is exactly what you're speaking to but the way i really say i'm um, um where people then get infuriated, like then goes on side with a degree and they're not going to accept them, that will force them for go to the MP. But what in the case, as you've exposed, some of these MPs themselves are recipients of these fake degrees? Well, the MPs that we get them, the MPs that we get them fake degrees is just rather unfortunate because we constitutional say pass you get degree before you become a member of parliament. But since they don't go buy fake degree. Since they don't go buy fake degree and then and then and then and then they now then 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 they, then they operate with them with their with their with, their, with their fake degree as so automatically they occupy a position of trust means they're supposed to resign and whether for resign they're supposed to get for 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 communal parliament. Because how do we get them? Have... How do we get them to? It's good that you intimate that, and because we come to the end of the program, so you had the badge in quickly. Yeah. How do we get them to resign? Because you are you are absolutely right. How do we get them to resign? How do we organize? What do we do? The president was supposed for help. The president has been slow in acting. What do you suggest as an academic? Well, Fambule, we're supposed for know with, with the constitution, the powers we give it. When then can't see how happen? So, for instance, the leader of government business in constituency, since the man Adamant in our resign, we the people them within now the constituency outside this man they represent 
suppose for organize or demand to the electoral commissioner the boss now the electoral commission and tell and say make them organize a referendum or not other call and say just um a public opinion pool within that constituency day if the majority say okay we don't want that mandate that mandate for go automatically demand for resign with the people so i've been promising i've been promising towards the away. end i've been promising towards the end we will talk extreme politics toxic politics and this is exactly where we become so you they say that then people there uh, for go petition would I ever at the head of um, um the PPRC or we responsible for whatever organization on that side? Eh? But understanding the way how then they pick with people them eh, or waiting they represent, how are they going to help the people where if na hand pick and eh, you they represent a certain constituency based on who that pick you and waiting that person they want? Is it going to work for the people? It's not worked before. Is it going to work now? There is, there is, all, there is always a uh, waiting and say, mm, sorry, waiting and say the first, um, you know, the first time. Wait till they understand we are in a democracy, and in a democracy, we are not working for these politicians. They are working for us. We the people, we more powerful past them. If only. Yeah, but that's in, that's in that's in theory, that's in theory, Doctor Lahai. That is, that is not in theory. That no, is no, not it, in it, theory. It, it, it is democracy, not a theory. But what you cite is in theory, and I give you a few examples, sir. We see what is happening at constituency 110 in which this exercise of people's democracy, go for go vote, was absolutely violated. The people's vote was trampled upon. They step on and they broke ballot boxes because one side of the people them not be let the way out the, 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 the vote be the goal. Nothing has come out of it to this day, Dr. Lai. But by the end of but by the end of the day, constituency 110, the will of the people prevailed, right? Yeah, but that was the passive, people people passive, for example. Let me give myself as, a, as yeah. an example. Yeah, when I started this crusade, people let me feel say it's going to be as a pool, all the normal people and grumble about and then, then stop. But because yeah. I get one thing, yeah. because I get one thing where most people I know they understand me are stubborn. If every Sierra Leonean be a stubborn individual like me, stubborn, stand for what is right and make sure say even if let them kill you, stand for it, right. We more powerful pass them people here. Yeah. Make we petition. Let them go now. Then constituency. There. If you not MP, everybody people them because we know. Let them go now. Statistics Sierra Leone. We know if now five thousand people and they within this constituency. If there is a petition, we don't present. We contain maybe out of the five thousand, we don't contain at least you know um two thousand five hundred people them. Yeah. Automatically, they in the majority. That MP they. Will be forced to vacate in seats. Uh, absolutely, absolutely, Doctor Lahai. Know, and and if, again, will they yes. come towards the end? Will they come towards the end of the program? But very interesting program, and I just want to ask a few short questions to Doctor Lahai before we end this program. And I must say thanks to Doctor Lahai for taking up the opportunity for appearing on the Den and Now for making case. I'm certainly a fan because the idea of the education system being to wait with the C and so today in which officials of government they want the way they run and make decisions now government happy for fend themselves in this situation is really appalling and Sierra Leoneans should be using this opportunity for express their anger. We know they see the anger yet maybe the anger get for come later but how does that anger come until put them like Dr. Alahai, then a platform where they're able to get that message over to the people that simply this is not right. Before we come to the end of the program and ask the last few questions to Dr. Lahai, one tradition on this platform is we can like for look at the chat room and see what in Fambul and say. So we get Kunku Motate. Madabio said he only employ, employs people who knows and trust, who he knows and trust. He's aware of his employees fake things in PhDs. No one should say Mada Bio is feeling out of ignorance because he sacked competent people and out of tribalism and regionalism just to bring. I agree with some of the sentiments expressed by this contributor in terms of competent people were sacked, uh, Dr. Lahai. But I'm not, I'm not asking you for your opinion on that, sir, unfortunately. Um, just move forward. Sylvanos. No, uh, and, I, and, I, and, I, and I go and I go address that. Because yeah, okay, go ahead. Go, 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 okay, go ahead. I very now, a very right. important observation already posing. If president say, yeah, if president say, he only appoint the one them 
where it trusts the for then at that position. Yeah. Well, you and the voter vote for the one where you trust. It is okay. simple as that. Simple as that. If president say in trust in that one that way in trust now that they appoint, well, you back where you go vote, vote for the one where you trust. So okay. Um, um, Silvanos, Silvanos Ihologima, may God continue to be with you guys. Thank you very much, Mr. Lahai. Doctor, I must remind you, but good compliment. Muna Johnson, they came in and sacked all the previous heads of Anes by Coroma and put fake degree holders. Mm -hmm. That's how the government failed. Intellectual, the veteran, Saloma no lack light. Now he make Edsa can go with light. <laughs> Uh, yeah, that, that, again, that again is very important. Yeah. Now that make government fail. The policy we talk down the do ya change that statement day. Okay. Not to so, not to that make because they don't sack. Okay, Madam President Bill don't come. Allegedly, they say they don't sack all the appointees of Anes Kuruma. They don't cut in on them. They say yes, not to then say me no say they are you know, majority of the top man there within our government get fake either them buy them over say or then go forge and with national universities there. But if you say that they make president be you fail, it's rather unfortunate. Say that they make we as Sierra Leoneans we fail. We should take responsibility too. That's take what the responsibility doctor is to because say. you elected the president Bio. If you know they do it, they tell you suppose for tell and say president Bio, ah, 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 ah. I don't vote for you because you are a represent you are representing it. You are rest, not a responsible government, not a representative government. You feel saying that after election, now that attended you vote in right power or you or you or you power die. No, it continue even to the to the last day or to, to the next election. Okay. So now that makes so, me fail as a country. Yeah, I, and I think I think I agree with you. It's we the people. We need for understand we collective power. That's what the doctor is trying to say. I believe. So Yana Salon ninety nine. 0.98 percent Sierra Leoneans they suffer irrespective of them comments in this program. Yeah, I think I get the sentiments of that person there because some are for, whilst the majority are really suffering. That let me take from that person there in take. Um, come on now, Dr. John Idris Lahai. Um, intellectual, it seems like you get a lot of fans here. Um, this guy is saying that you are the light. <laughs> Ali A. Kamara, host, be brief in asking your questions. Please let Doc do the rest. Um, I get what you they say. Thank you very much for that. But there were times when I had to develop, you know, yeah, me questions and I've been getting sentiments for express. But there were times where I just put the question outright. But thank you very much, Mr. Kamara, because I know say you want to hear from the, the guest. I do appreciate that. Um, Alimami Karamara Sakotati, Mr. Lahai knew along what his tribes men were doing was damning to the image and reputation of the country. But he is explicitly, uh, you could simply read within his orbiting, he has full knowledge about the degree syndicate. I'm fully aware. Okay, we'll not pay credence to that because the man no, make, you know, make, 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 make a pay credence to that. Okay. Question of tribesmen, me not get tribe. Absolutely, that's why I didn't even wanted to pay attention to that. That's but extreme. The, no, yes, we're not, for, we're not for ignore them kind of talk here because somebody don't go respect that post. We make that statement, they we go take the person in statement and all land there to in heart and live with her for the rest of in life. For let the can for let the nation survive, the tribe must die. And me don't kill me tribe. I have no tribe, I one tribe I get. And that is Sarah Leon. Limba local Timney, my wife, she's a fuller. Me, not get tribe anymore. You ask me, Osa Abon, I go tell you, say, you know, Abon Freetown. Not a cottage on a corner, right opposite mortuary, that big building, that tall one inside the Abon, third floor. Me, a Freetonian. Me, Mama, yes, get connection to the north. So tribalism, me tribesmen, no. Those in power where they mess up, they want the way they are power get fake degrees. They are not my tribesmen. They will okay. not belong at the same suffer. You know, go take, you know, put rotten apple near me. It's not possible. They are okay. not my tribesmen. Now that okay. purpose where they are Congo market, 
That poor mommy we know able to feed himself. That poor person we know you get voice. That person we if they don't suppress, we don't graduate ten years ago, we not get job. That one we then a job we for say the one in boss get fake degree, they suppress them. I get seven million of them. These are my tribesmen. Don't tell me about my tribe, say that nah, nah, because of this. Yes, they are my okay, friends. Doctor. The one that we in positions of authority. But we can fall, I don't mess up. I tell us you remain a brother, but you are the one of the worst. This one, okay. and President Bill, I don't tell us in weakness that because he never take action. Yeah, okay, doctor. Um, well, well said, sir. We need to move on. Just want to cover a few of them comments there in the chat room. Lawrence Fox, they are still serving because it is a personal fight. Mohammed Dumbuya replying to Lawrence Fox. Fight. It is not yeah. a personal fight. Here it's how okay. it is. Election they come 2023. SLPP need people, them we get supporters. Most of them, when they ask away, get them fake PhDs here. So these are more or less the cronies them or the people that we get large followings there within them, within them communities and then township. So the president, one way or the other, they afraid say maybe if he sack them, then go turn against them and tell them people yeah. and let them not vote for them. So That's this is not about, about anything. And I mean, not the identity, and I'm saying it. President Bio, if you didn't listen to this program, this is what it is. These people are not going to make you win these elections in 2023. Right now, the people there where you feel say get the support when they fake degree or so, even within the household, people that don't vex panem. Example, Abu Bakar Karim in family members, then they don't vex panam. So they're gonna likely vote against you, party, if you continue for keep Abu, Abu Bakar Karim now. You government sack them now. Okay, you are not doing yourself any <laughs> favor them. by keeping them. Sack them, sack them now. Somebody replied to Lawrence, um, Lawrence Fox. Saying, um, this now Mohammed Dumbuya, just leave this discussion. You are not in tune. You know, party business, you they you they look at Goya. Okay. Um, Melvin Boss Desmond Scott. That's true, my brother. Let's attack the issues and not the personalities. Lawrence Fox, big man, you were part of the syndicate Southeast. Oh, come on. That's tribal, tribal. Um, Daniel Kamara, my brother Mada Bio knows that his entire government do not work for the people of Mama Salon. Lawrence Fox, I'm not impressed, big man. It is and was an age long issue. Almami Kamara, democracy in the United States is cultural within their society. We are just in a learning process. Yana Salon, plenty of Sierra Leoneans get bored, uh, bored sets. Sierra Leone, Leone they in a learning <laughs> process for democracy, no. We're not yeah, in a so, learning process for democracy. We're not so there in a guest, learning process. We're not there in a learning process for democracy. So the guests think, disagree completely. No. Um, um, it is a tier. APC brought all those celebrated criminal institutions into our country to give fake degrees to our people. Um, Madam, no, this are this one disagree. It has nothing to do with the APC. It has nothing to <laughs> well, do with some people APC. try for this way they can always do. And one of the things well, they have not a well, thank you. Well, if my APC, if my APC come with them, why make during the time of the APC? Why make this one then encourage them? It's how simple. many people within the APC you go count say then get fake degree maybe they inside a man in cabinet? I think that's, a good, a, that's a good reflection. It's, it's, it's an escrow in cabinet, maybe in a two or three. But now forget yeah. about that. Key people are there within the SLPP cabinet will get fake degrees. People are there when are directors, director generals. People and they when they forge degrees them. But come on, this is not about APC. If APC cow it's something. Okay, wait till I don't wait till me on party don't do for pull them come out. Okay. Um, yeah, I, I think we already read that and it made quite a lot of sense. We need for look at um the statistics, the numbers. Um, Melvin Boss, Desmond Scott, I think that the same man again, or maybe not somebody else. Mr. Moderator, your question should be short. Why making it too long? Different people and get different styles. It depends on what they ask. But I take what you they say into consideration. My apologies. Next time I will try to make it, I will try to make it short. Thank you, Mr. Scott. Um, who else do we have? Melvin, the same guy. Say it again, bro. Daniel Kamara, Melvin, Boss, Desmond Scott, the fake PhD caused no delivery for the people of Mama Salon. I mean, a lot of people been enjoying this, so I need to move on because there are a few comments and we can't just, you know, yeah, stick on that. So I'll come back to you, Dr. Dr. Lahai. And Fambul, if I not read your name or I not call you, um, please not take them personal, not just because of time. Some of them people are involved in this venture, Dr. Lahai. They found a way 
for go around the system. And when you feel say you don't kill them, and one of them you make unclear from the beginning of the program, it be in get association with the APC. To a point where you go to the highest level and walk the corridors of power in a state house. But it turned out for be fake. But somehow, I think the former Minister of Education managed to kill him off. But if any way, for resurrect himself. And even inside this government, this is the disgrace we bring back or scandal we bring back inside this government. And now they talk about the leader of um, um, Dominion, a man who you're familiar with, that is Mohamed Yamba Bangua. And a, and a AGU, AGU. Oh, Mohamed Yamba Bangua, and a AGU. Yeah. yeah. And yeah. Udana, the other guy from um, um, the other university. Well, the other, they are, they are, they are, they are the do, a dominion, a dominion, a, it was more or less like a quorum of leadership. Then gets oh, leadership, where you say, then give them yeah. pastor. Now, three people, then, now, three people, then. You get, yeah. uh, you get, you get chancellor, founder, but uh, of course, he's answerable to two other people, then. So, it's a quorum of three. And where, so, so you get, uh, you get, uh, Samuel Diffy, you get the other guy where they custody now, Samuel Diffy, and Amir Cousin. Right now, I don't know where they Liberia. <laughs> Then, so you, uh, seem for know, you seem for know these guys. But my question yeah. is, how do we finally get rid of these guys? Because they've been in existence for quite a while, sir. How do we finally get rid of them so that they're not resurface again like some submarine we can look for breeze? Nah, just nah, 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 the, nah, the path now nah, just, just now nah, the path now nah, just don't show salon people and so. So now going forward, anybody we can tell you say get degree, question them. Even if the president can tell you say get degree, question them. Demand for C say yes, the degree is legitimate. Demand for C because for too long now we country people and they say, ah, Doctor Lai, you get mind though. No, not your mind again. No, no, Doctor Lahai, I beg for disagree in the way how you they characterize them. In other words, waiting a mean, sir. Yes. Not all the ordinary people they make the judgment on these people, and these ordinary people don't know. They don't get the resources as you do. Now, parliament, now they then they go, sir, where the, uh, the president recommend them they, now they then they go. And where they go they, now they then they go approve of them. This is where the problem is. And the people, the way they approve of them, they are also part of the scheme. So automatically, that is why I'm going to keep this conversation going until elections. Now, this questionnaire of fake degrees, now go determine the outcome of the next election. So now, people then go, they ask the president, say, where do you get now you plan or now you table where you go for re-election who that you go appoint next you go don't vet them very well so that's the way you go now parliament because the problem now parliament not to parliament it begin and because people then they go now state house and this are they say again people and they bribe money within state house president don't know this then they bribe money within state house for let people and get appointments somebody don't sit down in one director general position they go now state house he bribe them then they submit a name if they go okay, they bribe no. money and they submit in a way they submit in a president's the, the position of a president. The president don't get that time there for begin to go vet anybody. When they carry the names, them two, three names, if they give the names to certain people and say, okay, when I vet them people, I wanna do when I do when I do it, they call due diligence. Um, yeah, when I do due diligence, when I don't do, do, do use the due diligence done, the next thing I will go happen within that thing, they when I give me the final candidate. So it was, Doc, so it is Doc, you, that you've, done, you, you've done, you've done absolutely well, sir. And I can tell you, say, we get about four or five minutes left, no more than that. But here is the, here is the thing, Doc. You give up everything and um, you went back to Salon. And before you give up everything, not to be your intention this you've been to go with, you know, you have for say they go blow the lead and etc. But while you've been there long day, you encounter all of this, and now suddenly you don't become this crusader for expose this fake degree business. We don't put your very life at threat. As we speak today, I understand say you know they inside Freetown, but you just left from there recently. Will yeah, you be I going back I there? Australia right now? Will you be going back exactly, sir? Will you be going back into Sierra Leone? Will you ever feel the same again? Well, as it stands right now, now 2028, I, I plan for go back to the salon because I tell you, okay. if Bio win, if Madabio win 2023 elections, sometimes, you know, um, sometimes, um, you know, uh, win 2023 election, he be in power, you know, you know, and you know, go stand again in uh, 2028. So where go they go? They, they go it all the one day way I point. So I uh, may not get plans for for now go I be going to my country for go help, but since um. Because now it will be a trap, and I mean I don't make a point blank. Absolutely. I don't want position inside President View in government. Now go up and go for go help, you know. But the decency 
the lack of decency of certain people them within this man in government don't make it difficult we are by people they will get genuine interest are being kicked out the one they wait for say they're not getting nothing whatsoever for contribute to the economy now then they control the man in government right now dr lahai any optim any optimism because earlier on the conversation you seem forget a little bit of faith in the president have you any degree of optimism say even though a short time left, or if the president go get for even go for second term, that things go change. Any degree of optimism? From now to election, from now to election, the only change we may expect the president for do now for make sure say now that's because since me not trust the anti-corruption commissioner for let lead this fight because I don't go say in don't talk and say the inspector general of police will get fake degrees, still get right for investigate people left with fake degrees. And for forgery, we fall under the forgery acts of Salon or the laws that we, we cover, we go for cover forgery. And um, parliament, if president really mean, um, let's just allow the committee now, the multi party quorum, whether or form headed by Kande Yumkela, let it operate. So the only do you think, do you think Dr. Kande will succeed? Do you think Dr. Kande will succeed? Because nah, they will see are going to frustrate him. I don't talk and say, I don't tell Dr. Kande, say, you failed already even before you start then go frustrate the man but this why did he why did he take the position if he get choice or option for decline or how does it work the leader of government business now parliament way for way where i at least for be part of this tier for liberty he get fake degree so automatically he disqualify himself for dandy the multi-party you... form he not go in that it go be it will be very important because um, the man gets administrative skills and um, he believes he will, able, he will able to achieve that. But looking at the structure or the system where the man gets for operate through, people already don't begin to talk. And this I get evidence for that. But, but this Dr. Brimer, John, Dr. This John. Brimer Rooney, let me just come on. This Brimer Rooney, this Brimer Rooney cargo guy, Rooney Wedding at Natcom. People are within Natcom, they already don't begin to say they will able to penetrate and bribe Kanda Yumkela. Ah, forget about the money penetrable. Man and we will bribe them. You know, so people already don't put defensive mechanism for make sure say all the one that way they within where they near can because can they no we will bribe them. Nobody no we will bribe can they umkela. But all the other MPs them, I don't know them how then they, but most of them are penetrable. Most of them, as I see money no more, then they were talk, then they lost their sense of self. <laughs> so then they frustrate, they never frustrate Kande. Kande is not going to succeed. That's why I'm telling the president now, say, make sure, say, you allow Kande for doing your own work. So the only change will go happen, not just a change where they will give you a num the specified number. Because me get over 5,000 people in a list and their workplaces them. But it make a decide, say, I not go under over to government, I not go under over to the ACC. Now, because the ACC, the act didn't say, I should be protected as a whistleblower. ACC supposed for protect me as a whistleblower. They're supposed for even compensate me with money. But this is the boss of the ACC where turn out for put me life at risk. He go to international media. He try for characterize me as someone already against the president. He try for do all kind of talk. So now what get me list now? I know they able to am. Until yesterday, so, so, they don't so devise another John. skill now. Let's tell you now what the ACC don't do. Where they know say now there is no there is no way they will able to stop this crusade again. ACC sent somebody yesterday for can't talk to me. Say since they know say me na post we like book. Hey bra, why you not know, compile everything? You make it into a book. Why you don't make everything to a book? All the names of the people and they then they in a book form. You know there you go call ACC now. There you talk to them say you know you want to make una work back together. Make you go hand over this thing because high above information don't go to ACC boss. They don't tell and say. Una trailer on a stop this Dr. Johnny Drisla high guy, or else he's uh, going absolutely. to mess the chances of the SLPP 2023. So since they no say Alex, yes, since they no say doctor, I don't I don't mean to be rude in any way. You're making you they make quite some critical points at the very end of the interview. And this now been a try for impress on you, even though not something where you go know very well. So it seemed like we the waste water and docks him back because. The government where you did try for reform or send this alarming message say this is not working you get all the fake people there 
They are in tandem with each other. The ACC boss is the president's right-hand man. Do you think he's going to turn against the government? So, in other words, what you don't the man don't make them clear. Say he's not going. To, he's not going to investigate them. The man and later absolutely, on, absolutely. And this is not my point. But Dr. John Lahai, I want to tell you thank you. But before I left you, I want to let you give your final thought. Take one, two minutes and just wrap up this brilliant program. And hopefully, we will bring you again for a shorter program in which I will try for talk less and get you for talk more. There were things that I was very much interested in, hence why I've been a badge in. But at least we get for understand each other and the general public get for one another a lot. I know say people and feel frustrated. Some people them because while you they talk, I get a different line of thought and a badge in. But finally, wrap this all important um, um, interview for me, and then okay. we will take them from there. This, this year, so make a wrap them up in in this way by asking in the first instance, by asking in the first instance, um, just um, a couple of small questions. Then, you where they support fake degree holder? You don't eat. Wait till you eat yesterday. We go na market for go buy food. How much the food where you buy? It Good cheaper one. or it expensive? Mosquito okay. bet you last night. How many mosquitoes bet you? You get light. How the light affect you? Where that breeze come heavy, everyone at free town. As a result, stop it. Sorry, now me picking them. That that breeze will come heavy, heavy one. Now free town. Your house, the breeze touch them because climate change don't happen now. Deforestation, they happen. You know, where you buy, you top up. You get more hours. No. You they suffer. You they suffer in ignorance. But you still they support the fake degree holders them. Me they tell you, say, now you your future. Now you your future. Now you the mortgage. Me they tell you, say, now you your life. Now you the mortgage. So stop for support. The fake degree holders them. Make we try for rebuild we country. Understand, say, Fake degree gets a cost on the broader economy of the country. The economy of any given country will suffer from the recruitment of unskilled people. Then. Fake degrees, they cause a cascade of the negative consequence system, especially when you get for use them fake degree as, so, as a medical doctor, as a professor at university, as engineer responsible for make road, as engineer responsible for Gilight, as a public policy maker. It gets a broader ramification. You get fake degree, road accident, and they happen. You they say, ah, the most kind of in the speed. No. So I'm saying, how do they make the road? They don't do a correct measurement. Where they go able to slant the tagron. Maybe the tagron is slant in a way where go make them very, very difficult for them to car. You will pass yonder lay without enough, enough swab. And because it's swab, they not get break. It go, it go kill people. Then you yeah. not a doctor. Now, 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 you know, doctor, doctor and us, when I get wrong diagnosis, they let today, I not get me mama for wish I'm happy Mother's Day. You don't die. How many of you now also don't lose you now, mama and papa them through medical negligence? If now with my country, I for sue the hospital day. I go sue the hospital, sue the doctor, and then go compensate me. So I don't work again. I go depend on that day for the rest of my life. What you make, I depend. What you make this day happen? Now, because... The one they will get fake degree, they are powerful in government. And because they are powerful in government, they don't make life very difficult for we the people. Make we know again, again, that fake degrees, you know, it they give unfair advantage. So anti-corruption commissioner, if they watch this, not say because somebody already don't be employed, they get fake degree, and after we the employer, they don't go buy fake degree. No. For the fact that he go he buy and he use the title of um, doctor, you tell people, let's say, let them can declare their assets. The person, the first asset will declare an amista. The second asset we can declare, I put doctor day. Then they automatically in a falsification of information. Why you know they try them for that? People and they will not get degrees, they will occupy position of authority because now you party them and make it, you need do nothing. Eh? Kelfala. Full politics come up on this. You they kill we country by you in a, by, 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 by fighting me. Me I whistle blow you, supposed to protect me, but you fed me. President Bio, the people then are you then get for good judge in 2023. Not to Kenfala, not to Ambusovula, not to Karim, not to the one that we get fake degrees, then get for good judge. Now you. So sit down and feel say then people here so go make you win election. No. Right now, the community, see Sovula in us in streets. The streets now can outside the man getting house. They name the street Dr. Ambrusovula. 
where I pull the man at door, people let know say it's fake. The people that within the community they mobilize, then go pull this and the, the, the street in name, then protest. So now the street in name, not just not just um Ambrose Ambrose Ovula Street. So don't pull the doctor commodity. So you see how people let they mobilize against the one that we we depend on. Take action. Save you. Save save yourself. Because people then go judge you. And we were the right book. If you not take action, I'm not going to be favorable to you in, in any book where they write. And right now, they write a book on education and nation building. And so far, so good. You know, they, you know they're in the good side of that book day. So understand this. You know, a father figure to me. I respect you and love you so much. But Salon can force. So me off and bull them. When our family members, we get fake degree where they pull na door. I love Una, but my country, I love her more. So if you feel say you go able, I know why I talk to me to say we die, we go meet God. So me you no know, go hide from bull business. From bull tiki, they bend, you no know, go broke. 10 years, 15 years along the line. Una go tell me thank you. So this is an opportunity for Una, Una go back na school and go get genuine degree them. Now Una go get PhDs with sober. So that's a whole we'll go sit on a family meeting where they talk, say, hey, Dr. Lai. Me, they say, hey, you know, uh, Dr. Georgiana, you know, you know, uh, Dr. Memuna to Pratt. So things go, they go before. We country go sweet. <laughs> By the end of the day, the green, white, and blue, in matter pass, me tribal color with people, and they say, I get tribal color, but I don't, I don't kill that tribe. People and feel, say, me, me, one position at present, being government, no, I know one position in government. People and feel say I go take bribe. No, where the minister, minister of agriculture sent person to me own brother for let them try for bribe me fifteen thousand dollars. I go na Facebook. I expose that. So you where they think say you go can't try for bribe me if you come na me page or you send person, I they call your name and disgrace you publicly because that is what I do best. For make sure say the fight become the fight of the people. We need allies. So stop for support support them bad people. Eh? When I join me pan this fight. Now we able to develop the country, yeah? Now the now the world than the normal. Wow. Um, um Dr. Idis Lahai, I cannot um say thank you um enough, um, sir. I'm so yeah. thankful. And first of all, make I express my deepest condolences to you and my profound um, um sort of feeling. At the loss of your mom at that yeah. and to your family as well like you understand because you spent quite a lot of hours you know yeah instead of looking after the family but yeah. also and at that family need for notice that the man getting firm in in, in, in in picking them now nah, some and of them the so right so because for three hours he sat on this program why in picking the needing attention why is he doing this because of sierra leone you, you know so I want for say thank you to that, and I want for say um, um, wherever your your late mom is, um, may her soul, her gentle soul, continue to rest in peace. Amen. And we understand the crusade. And what you they say? Hopefully, if we all understand this, that mean our moms, our brothers, our nieces and cousins and nephews will be saved. Everybody no need for suffer that fate the way you must suffer. This na medical negligence na in the color na I make you say, if na be on this side usa you day so and then things then they happen, you will have been entitled to compensation and probably the size of the compensation go mean say you not be ever need for work again. So I understand that and I see how emotional you got once you been to talk about that, and um, um and I wish um, um I wish you well on that sir. But fambule the bottom line. And I know say we get time, I no need for go over that. I just want to say thank you once more to Dr. Lahai. This is not your first time, and we use about three hours of your time, but necessarily so. And this message will resonate well. Because the lump, the numbers of you in public not been great. But we get almost 500 um, people um, live, they watch. Both the message was streamed both on Facebook and on YouTube. And like I say, we had close to 500 people, live viewers, watching. And we are thankful to those who did that. But subsequently, we know say this number get for multiply to thousands. So this message will go. And what we will do by tomorrow and the day after tomorrow, we go segment them, compartmentalize them, broken down into segments in which the most key things then what you see in two, three minutes bust, we will send them out to the general public internationally 
Let me hear you exactly what you say, because what you're saying is absolutely right. The country, they in disgrace. We public officials, them, their own fake degrees. The president need to be seen to be leading. This is a moment for President Bio for lead. Why is he entertaining or these people are still enjoying his pleasure? I mean, I can't speak for the president, but as a citizen of the country, I am perplexed. I am worried. But again, like I say, we spend very much more time. And I want to say so much thank you to you, Dr. Lahai. We really appreciate you first time being on the platform. And we are with you on this crusade because it's not personal. It's about national. And together, maybe we can help from bring some sanity to a country. So, Dr. Lahai, I go be in contact again soon, sir, and maybe we'll do a shorter one in which, like somebody advised, stop asking the long questions. Just ask the short question and let the doctor answer. Well noted. Dr. Lahai, thank you so much, sir. Thank you, too. Yeah. Thank I will you. talk to you later on in camera. Many thanks and good night. Okay, good night. Yeah. yeah. And ladies and gentlemen, this is it. We've come to the end of um, tonight's program. Tomorrow we get the former government um, um, spokesman on the platform. Not touch that dial because it's going to be equally interesting. We get Aji Bujalo on the platform tomorrow. Aji Bujalo was the former spokesperson for the All People's Congress government of Anes by Koroma. He will be here and we'll be asking him the critical questions. And as soon as I know, there is so much for ask. And we'll not go fall short of that. Until tomorrow, where well, I go see you again on the same platform. Can I say good night, good morning, good afternoon? Bye.